Ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello, hello. What is going on? Welcome to the next chapter of the owner operator series because I broke it. 
That's right. That's right. We are now on... <laughs> I don't even know if you want to call it hard mode. This is like the devil's work. <laughs> We're actually doing it real life now. Oh my god, that ain't right. That ain't right. Hey, Mr. Guzander, gifting five here to the community, guys. Make sure you go throw some sub hypes in the chat for my man, Mr. Guzander. Let's go through the chat here real quick. We got Brownie, Trucker, Dr. Dave. How you doing, man? Hopefully the rest of the stream was good, brother man. You guys want to see a really badass setup? Go check out Mr. Dr. Dave, man. That thing is spot on. Spot on. Good to see you, man. What up, Cartman, bro? What's going on, booty? What's going on, Bubblegum Gangster? Jacob, Tim the Iowan. Good to see you again. Located three, man. Always good to see you in here. Hope you're doing well, brother. How you doing, Deshaun? Mr. Rabbit, how we doing? Doc and Nieces. Hey, man. Been a minute, man. Hopefully the new year was good and everything was good to go. What up, Brownie? Good to see you as well. We also got American Stig. That ain't no maggots of all those fancy clothes. Come on. What up there, Last Myth? What's going on, Dirt Nasty? Good to see you as well. How you doing? How you doing? What up, Tension? What up, Loco Vado? Mr. Harp. Hey, man, how you doing? Good to have you here from Jamaica, man. What's up, brother? What's going on, guys? What's going on, 396? Good to see you as well, brother. Hopefully, all was good with the holiday season, man. Attention also asks, hey, Mod, it's so sad to hear about the profile. Any idea on what caused it? Hello to you guys. What's going on? We got our shift cam. We got our regular cam. So, yeah, so... This is going to be uploaded to the VOD channel for right now. Uh, tonight's long stream-ish. So, if you guys are new, we'll go run through this real quick. I actually have it. I got to read it, actually, because this is how insane it is. So, real quick, though, tension. Uh, what up there, AM, PM, PM, Twitch? Long time listener, first time caller. Glad to have you a part of it, man. What's going on, AMP? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um... Oh, wow. Modern, uh, modern ATS just went live. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Shameless plug. I get the uh, alert, too, right? Anyway. So, what happened was... All right. I don't know why it decided to pick that profile. So, what had happened was... And I received a few DMs. I do appreciate uh, the help and the good looks. What actually happened was is I... Had to reset this gaming PC three times. Three times. Backed everything up three times. Have had no issues three times. Uh, all my profiles are on the Steam Cloud. Nothing was ever local. And even if they were, I still save them all. Um, for some odd reason, I don't know why, I'm assuming that profile was not... Steam clouded for some reason. Now, it was good on the first two attempts on my reset. For some reason, man, the third reset, like, last night on the live stream. You guys saw it live, man. If you guys were in here, like, I was going to, like, just go see it, fire up the Detroit, and where's, where's my profile? Don't, don't dare style. La profile. Where did you go? I, you know, and it, it, like, hit hard. I'm like, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. That, that's where it was. Now, there is light, right? So if that was my no GPS profile, I wouldn't be live tonight. I'd probably, I'd probably be crying. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably cry. It'd be a terrible, terrible loss. Uh, that no GPS profile is the oldest profile I have on this game. But, uh, you know, the owner-operator profile, not that it was designed to fail, but... The profile is in such a mode where, honest to God, like, if you get into a couple accidents, you're broke, you're done. So, like, I kind of knew maybe, because here's the problem. Like, when you do regular content on YouTube and then you're live, totally different animals. So, YouTube, you're just chilling, playing the game, no problem. Me, I don't shut up. I love talking to y'all. I love hanging out with you guys every night. So, I'll be like, do, 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 do. Oh, bam. Oops, there goes that. Oh, bam. So, I kind of, like, had a feeling, like, there would come a time I was just hoping that it was going to be further along a little bit, man. You know what I mean? But um, we are here now. Okay. It's a new day. It's a new day. We did release a video earlier this morning or this afternoon, I should say. Uh, I went over a few of the details. If you guys did not go check that out, 
Seems to be a pretty solid one so far. I do want to go over some of the things, though, here with this profile real quick. All right, this is not the normal realistic economy that we did prior. This is next level, okay? Um, let me see exactly where it is here, because I want to read this directly. So last night after the stream, I tried everything. Going through all my old folders, the whole nine, to try to see if I could find it. Can't find it. Start talking to Mr. GDC himself. And I, I was a, browsing around the real profile. Mudman, appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammering community, brother. Good to see him. Appreciate it, brother. I, uh, browsing around the old uh, Discord, and I became a member of the Discord actually around the time of the 149 release because everything was obviously broken around 149. Um, and I noticed he did some betas here and there, and I was kind of like reading up on them a little bit. Last night I read one. And I was like, huh, because the guy's honest truth, when the used truck dealer came out, that was really cool, right? That's essential for an owner operator series. That's really, really cool uh, because that could really set up if you're going into RP, if you're going for something hardcore, that right there sets it up beautifully. Great addition to the game. A big W uh, for SCS on that. And if you guys want to create a completely different style profile. Now, that was a little bit of a sting because I literally started it beforehand. You know what I mean? And I saw that update and I was like, ah. So, that was the second one. But anyway, um, here's the rules, guys. Not so much rules, but here is how this profile lays out, okay? Obviously, you guys know the realistic economy, hardcore mode. Basically, everything's adjusted. Fuel price is the whole nine. Now, in reference to this, the economy mode, skill level is one to nine. So level one through nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That, 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 he's calling that the training phase, right? So like we're going training. Let's use this time to earn skill points. And basically for every 500 miles that we do, we'll approximately get a level. So you want to do quick maths, 500 times nine, about 4,500 miles, right? Not too shab. Not too shab. However, though, I'm not sure if that doubles or what, because it's also saying that it's going to depend on my skills that I choose. And now, as we read earlier, some of the skills don't really do much. Like, right, some of them say, like, anything after this doesn't really do anything. It does. Even though it might not give me extra XP, it'll still unlock, say, longer distance. So it says... However, you should still perform the distance unlocks to be able to drive longer trips. So even though if you do the distance unlocks and you don't get anything from it, you still get the mileage, which will help you get, obviously, your skills. Now, once the training phase is complete, it says it will take roughly 80 to 100,000 miles of driving in the combination with the latest skill unlocks to reach level 10. So between level 1 and 9... We're going to have between 80 and 100,000 miles before we even buy our own truck. Uh, and what's really cool is he almost like dials it down to if ATS had a, a calendar system. It's basically, in a nutshell, us driving for like almost a year and a half, which is like super cool. Then when we reach about level 15, I'm sorry, when we reach level 15, that's when we get to about, about a year and a half. Um, and then banks will begin to offer us money. So just want to show you something real quick. We do start out with $1,500 as per usual. First load was $35. Look what the bank offers me, guys. $500. $500 the bank is gifting me right now. That's all I can do. That's all I can borrow. Uh, he also has some stuff in here, too, uh, that's a little bit more broken down. Here, further up, um, there's actually an entire post about it here too. Um, there's about testers and all this, but it says here too, use, listen very carefully. Used truck dealers are locked until a certain level is reached. Not able to tell you what level this is, but it's somewhere between one and five or possibly could require a certain number of jobs. Please check for it to be unlocked and let, you know, check because he's having testers do it or whatnot, but there's actual random. So we don't know when we can actually get the unlock for the dealership. Could be right away. <laughs> could, be, could be a very long time. 
<laughs> could, could be years. <laughs> could be millennia. <laughs> but uh, we're going to have um, the whole same nine. Um, I'm going to you know set goals. Uh, so the second episode that will come out next week on the YouTube side will have um, legitimate goals there in the description of what we want to achieve as an owner-operator. This by the end of this weekend, limestone will officially be hitting 100,000 miles. So you know, I'd love to be able to transition, have that profile be our fun profile, do some stuff, cool stuff on, keep it trucking, and then actually, I, I love goals. Right, goals are really cool to reach and attain, and you guys are always cool about you know grabbing some goals. You know what I mean? We're on the big road to 5,000 followers here. We're almost at 15,000 on the YouTube side. You guys keep killing it. So. We're going to have some fun with this because I always like to create a story too, right? A beginning, middle, and end, like a follow along. So we could always see every night too, or maybe every other night, kind of know what we're going, in, going into. And then what we'll do is we'll upload every single one of these to the VODs. Um, unless there's something crazy, like we were streaming and like some random dude on the side of the road was like, yo, man, here's a billion dollars. We're like, whoa, we'll put that on the main channel. Not saying that it might not happen. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll go ahead and uh, do that. So, uh, you know, it's we're going to have some fun with her. Come on. We're going to have some fun with her. So right now, if you guys haven't caught up, I just did one load with the Kenworth. And everything's going to be RP. So as you saw here in the beginning of the stream, did my walk around. Uh, right now, I got the truck running. Uh, and I'm going to adjust my seat because the Mac is a bit odd. Uh, do I have my brake set already on this? Nope. I never understand why sometimes the brakes don't set automatically. I'm going to pull out my trolley. I'm going to do a test here on the tug test. Uh oh, look at that. We could drag it a little bit. And there it is. I'd rather stall it. Stalling is good. Wait, you hit 15? Almost. We're almost 1,000 away. We're just shy of 14. Almost, almost. Almost, man, almost. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Peter? Good to see you. How do I download it through the Discord? What's that? Uh, I'm restarting my series as well. GDC beta is amazing. It's right in their Discord. Links are over on the owner-operator video. If you guys do exclamation point owner-op in the chat, I'll bring you to the video. And then um, the links are in there. But listen. Listen, guys. Understand one thing. Okay? It is a beta. It could be 100% fine. It could blow up your PC, okay? There, there is no in-between, okay? <laughs> Not something I'd probably throw a million mods in right away. Uh, you know what I mean? Have fun with it. it. I was talking to the man, creator. He did say, though, it's eventually going to come out for a public release. Uh, just in time, there's a lot of little kinks that he's working out around. So uh, as that updates, we'll update you as well. But the main gist of it uh is staying basically the same and i think we'll have a lot of time uh on our hands before we have to worry about any of that so the other thing though guys i'm gonna get rolling here now we got big diesel walking around the room so this will be interesting tonight the other thing is we are also doing the hardcore challenge on trucky uh i forgot to add the link to the youtube video I don't want you over here, buddy. You already broke one camera. I don't need to break another. So, I'm going to have to look to the left here. Nobody's coming. So, the hardcore challenge on Truckee is very, very cool. You have to basically play the game in hardcore mode, uh, which is you have to have certain sliders at certain degrees. I'll show you that real quick here, real, um, just so you guys have a good idea of what we're dealing with here. I am running Serial Black's physics in here. We're going for realism. I love the way they feel. Uh, route advisor, everything stays hidden here. Automatic parking is off. Uh, speed limit is truck. Map alignments, normal. Show navigation, fine. Random parking. Now, in order for you to qualify for uh, hardcore mode in Truckee, your rain has to be over 10%. Your detours and random road events have to be over 20 I just gave it a little bit more. Um, the Truckee app... Wow, excuse me. The Truckee app does integrate with your game, so it does know when that happens. Um, so just there's that fact for you. Braking, truck, trailer, everything, of course, zeroed out. Suspension stiffness is all the way over here. Oh, wait. 
There we go. <laughs> Ripperino, I wanted that like that. Uh, we'll put that down to 90. Uh, we'll flip flop those two. Cabin suspension stiffness, I'm not too worried about. Uneven service, I do like the way the ground moves a little bit. What up, uh, Mr. Brett? Uh, here, I was hoping for a 24 hour stream this weekend with a bunch of TMP. All good though, my guy. That's 5K on the, on the Twitch side. We're almost there though, guys. We're almost there. Uh, when we hit the 15K, we'll be doing a lot of giveaways again and such from, uh, oh, we got to do that as well, from uh, the YouTube side of SCS and all that fun stuff. Uh, Anti-lock brakes are off, traction controls off, but I do have the realistic fuel and air brakes on. And, of course, everything else is off, as you guys know already, basically. Uh, all right, let's continue on. All righty. Now I have a uh, an audience. I didn't have an audience before today. So, again, I'm going to be playing it. You're going to see me playing this now in, like, realistic mode. I am going to play this... Pretty solid and pretty uh, straightforward. I am not trying to get tickets. I'm not trying to damage anything. I want to just keep her going and keep her rolling. I don't want any tickets. I want to try to save as much money as I can. It'd be really cool to see how many miles we'd accumulate on it. Uh, let's see here. There's a link in the announcements for what's that? Uh, Dark Mike. Uh, how do you down? Oh, 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 I got you there, you guys. All right, now, now I'm caught up. Now I'm caught up. All righty. Are we rolling backwards? We are. Keep her locked in, Mike. Keep her locked in. We do have the truck set up as an 18-speed layout. There is not an 18-speed, though, in this truck. This truck probably should come with an automatic. If I'm being honest with you guys. This truck's got 498,000 miles on it. Good God. 493, actually. Yeah, 493, 783. Aside from texting and driving and interacting with chat, well, that's where it's going to get interesting. Because sometimes I do look over a little bit, and uh, we end up going for the ride. All the mods will be linked on the Discord side, or um, Discord side, Ripperino. All the mods will be linked on the YouTube side. Legitimately not using much of anything at the moment. Uh, it's basically just the mod itself, the realistic um, companies and logos... The mirror mod from Plum Pete. PNG, I did throw in just now just to see. It's probably not going to be worth it, in my opinion, because I think the SCX graphics are really solid to begin with, as it is. Um, other than that, there's really nothing in here. Now, what does that mean for you guys? I want you guys involved with this. I'm going to make the announcement too on the YouTube side next episode. So, what we're going to do... Hey, Angel, coming down the Bay Road, we do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. When we get to the point where we are able to buy a truck, we're, we're going to put a poll out on the YouTube side. So, you guys are definitely going to make sure you guys are subbed over there so you don't miss it. We'll, of course, make announcements. But I want you guys, just as we built Limestone... I want you guys to let me know and narrow down like what mods we should kind of put in here. You know, should we even use any truck or trailer mods? Uh, what kind of trucks mods should we put in here? You know, and go from there and see um, what kind of setup we should have. Let's see what we weigh. 37,187. Ooh. Oh, this frack tank is very, very light. So we got a frack tank right now from Elko. And we're headed down to Eli, going to the Exxon Mobil. Uh, headed to Fallon, no, Nevada from Sparks, Nevada. There you go, Brett. Just finished watching the YouTube. Can't wait to watch all of the progress. You and me both, man. I can't. I'm, I'm actually excited. I, I very well am very pumped. Um, I love this series. I had a lot of fun doing it. And then, like I said, you know, earlier, Mass Gamers, like when. Uh, <laughs> when the used truck dealer came out, I was like, are you kidding me? I worked so hard, but uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, man. And like I said, I really want to uh, stay pretty active on it and stay pretty busy with it. So we'll be doing a couple uh, nights a week, eventually, probably starting next week with this. We'll probably do like every Wednesday. So all the VODs will be directly uploaded over to the YouTube side. I'll probably end up doing it, like, the next day or day after. That'll be on the VOD channel. Then what I'm going to do is uh, every Wednesday, 
we'll have uh, maybe every Wednesday or Tuesday because I'm actually in the middle. There's a lot going on right now with the channels. Um, I'll get into that in a second. But um, I'm, I want to set a day specifically to this series on YouTube. And it's going to be basically like, unless something's crazy, an update, right? Obviously, go trucking. Keep everybody in the loop. What's going on? A whole nine. Uh, and those will be labeled probably as episodes. I got to figure out what I want to do with that. If I should just leave them all as episodes so we can see how many we actually do with it. Uh, nobody come in there. Uh, I might just start an owner op. Sounds pretty fun. It really does get pretty fun. I I really enjoyed uh, starting it out, and, and it's it's basically you know forcing you to play in the simulation fashion, which the game was intended to be, and of course how I always like playing it. Uh, this series is what made me meet the Hammer community. Took a break from the ATS, but this is bringing back the heat. What up, Small Husky? Good to see you, brother. Hope you're doing well. The other cool thing is, so, there's a lot. Okay, there's a lot going on right now. So, I don't know if you guys are ready, but there's a lot going on right now. So, 2024 is going to be a big year, okay? It's going to be a big year for the Hammerhead community. Uh, we're going to go very, very big. Um, I absolutely love creating content for you guys. I want to be able to give you guys uh, the most content I can give, but at a respectable place and manner. You know, I don't want to just give you, like, you know, a 240p uh, video resolution. I want to give you guys some quality uh, stuff there. So, we're, uh, uh, you know, after just talking with the missus, because listen, at the end of the day, the missus is the boss, okay? That's the boss lady, all right? Mrs. Modded is the reason why Modded ATS exists. Mrs. Modded is the reason why we're able to do this and have fun with it every night. Have 24-hour live streams and stuff like that. So, of course, all my, uh, my big boy decisions, I go through the Mrs. Happy wife, happy life. So, uh, for the past couple of nights, we sit down and eat dinner. So, we were talking about it. So... We're officially going to have the modded ATS channel on YouTube, which you guys all, of course, know. We're going to have, obviously, everything American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, and gaming. Everything that you guys uh, would love to see over on that channel. Nothing is going to change on the modded ATS channel. In fact, it's going to get even better. Um, I am going to have a schedule. We're going to have more of a order of things. I'm gonna have everything. I've been saying it, but I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, Pauly Plays coming down the big road. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. This is Howdy, 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 Howdy. Howdy, Howdy, Dirt Rider. Howdy, Howdy. It's bad, it's gonna be better. Uh, we're gonna bring back mod reviews. We're gonna have the other sound reviews coming out. We're gonna have a whole bunch of fun jazz. We'll do just random drives, owner operator, uh, custom build drives, things like that. Then we're going to have the Twitch channel, which you guys are active with right here. Well, hey, how you doing, guys? Twitch channel will be doing, of course, live streaming all the time every night. Um, Monday through Friday. Give or take some weekends here and there if we're allowed. You know what I mean? Like I said, we got to keep Mama happy. But uh, we'll be doing, of course, owner-operator. We'll do building drives. You know, whatever series we have going, we'll have a good old time, as we always do. Then we have the VOD channel, which is on YouTube. That's where all the live streams are going to go. So if you guys are, example, hardcore into the owner-operator series, you love listening or love watching it, most likely they'll be going over to the VOD channel so you guys don't miss an upload on that. That'll stay over there. Usually next day, boom, it's up. You're ready to go. And officially, it's, it's at 95% ready. But officially, I will be having... My stomach go up and down like that over that bump. My Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We're officially going to have some real-life trucking come to the community here. Uh, I actually have my GoPro here next to me charging up. I actually, uh, I'll show you guys right now. Okay, I'll show you guys right now. 
right here, if you guys see this here, I have a sticky thing on it. This right here is a headband-like unit for POV. Goes on the old head. Got the GoPro there next to me. Uh, might get fired. I don't know. I'm going to do it anyway. Z-Boy coming down the big road. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. Uh, we're going to be bringing some real content. Uh, I want to start making some real content, some real trucking content uh, on some of the channel. And the channel is going to be a, a, a IRL channel, so nothing gets mixed up. So we have a strictly gaming channel, strictly a uh, real-life channel combined together. Uh, this way, you guys don't miss a beat. You guys have both sides. You can go here and there. No problems. Nothing gets pushed because YouTube's algorithms are so wild on how they work. And I don't want you guys to have to miss an upload. Uh, half the time we go live on Twitch, have you guys even say, like, I didn't even get a notification. Well, this way, hopefully everything goes in one. And what we'll be doing to start off, I'll probably just try to get into the swing of things. I'll probably do like maybe one video a week over there just so you guys will see what's going on. That's where I'm going to have everything from uh, IRL, my day in the life of my, what I do, driving, uh, what I currently do. Jake brake or weird engine brakes down there. There we go. Uh, building the truck with my dad. I'm going to I'm gonna push my dad to get on the channel as well. Then we're going to go ahead and rebuild a couple of the trucks there on the channel. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Good thing we didn't pull out. Good Lord almighty. Come on. Oh, you're turning. We're going to put uh, the pull truck on there. We'll have some good stuff over there. It's going to be a whole... You guys will have all the notifications, though, when it comes and, and is in fruition. Like I said, I actually have uh, both batteries charging up right now on the GoPro. I got the headband ready to go again. We are ready to go rocking and rolling and trailer trucking. Because the other thing, too, is that I really want to get some nice quality out for you. I want to really learn how to edit. I, I, I don't know how to edit... Hey, Mr. Sir! Sir Schnurbert! Coming down the big road, man. I love that, by the way. Appreciate that raid, brother, man. Guys, get some hype and some W's and some my guys in the chat. Coming over the raid, brother. Listen, man, my my dang shout-out don't work. My shank shout-out don't work, man. Let me know what you were playing, what you were doing. Out the stream, go. Hope everyone's doing well over there, guys. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. We are on the owner-operator series here that we have on the YouTube side. Greetings from our German streamer. What up, James Ryan? Good to see you, man. Greetings from Germany. Hey, man. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hello. What up, Crixus? Good to see you guys. Welcome, guys, to the Hammerhead community over here. Come on, get another cheer for them there. Come on, Air 42. There you go. Appreciate you guys. Welcome, guys. You guys are new here. I hope you guys had a good time over there. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm a real-life truck driver. I drive every day. I'm um, every day I drive. <laughs> anyway, uh, I drive every day. I've uh, been third-generation truck driver and doing about 15 years. And I was just telling the Hammerhead community here, too, how we'll be bringing some uh, IRL trucking officially to the YouTube channels and such. So it'll be uh, pretty good. Is this the Jake Brake of Heaven? Oh, my Lord. Yes, that's actually... Oh, getting past... Hey, how you doing, officer? Thank you so much. Uh, that's actually a Jake Brake from a truck I drove. It's on the YouTube. Uh, my buddy was videotaping me and his truck driving by, and I cracked the Jake, and then I cut, split, and threw it on my, uh, on my alert box there. So pretty good stuff, man. How you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, what up, Johnny? Good to see you. So what we're playing on right now, too, guys, is this is the Owner Operator Series. Uh, it was a series that I started a couple months ago on the YouTube side. It's a realistic profile. We would play it every Wednesday. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, during my, over the weekend, I built a two PC setup. And over the weekend, I had to reset my PC three times. And I have every single one of my profiles completely fine, except my Owner Operator. So I had to uh, restart the owner operator series, but we're doing it a little bit more of a hardcore fashion, more of an RP style, pre-trips, everything, uh, going through everything. And uh, yeah, welcome. Hope you guys are doing good. You're literally here for uh, the official first live stream of it. Let me do exclamation point owner op in the chat. I'll bring it to the video we released this afternoon going over everything. For real, one of the best I've ever heard. Oh yeah, she's a good one. 
Uh, don't get much better than real. I'd ride that whole damn. Uh, what kind of shifter do I have? This is a Moza shifter. So it is part of my Moza R5. So it'll only work with a Moza hub or adapter. Uh, and then I have the ATS extension here, the ATS accessories, 12, 12 inch extension. And then I have a real Eaton Fuller shifter. Right here is a real Eaton Fuller shifter from Eaton Fuller that has been modified with electronics. Oh, there we go. Interesting there. I wish my jig. You know, you always have to have some fun. Always have to have some fun. Always. When they tell you, listen, I don't know how I get, how can I show you guys this? Ready? I just had to stuff my wires back. Oh, let me see. There they are. See the plug in the wall there? Those wires over there that are all hidden, I had them over here. And I just got excited. And yet again, as per usual, yeet, just kicking it. Kicking it sideways. And look at that. See? Notice how I'm saved. Look at that. No accidents, baby. No accidents. Oh, man. Cave Dweller. Coming down the big room, man. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community, my guy. Hope you're really doing good. I can't not have fun, guys. Come on now. Don't get mad at me. Come on. Thought everything was going to go that smoothly? Come on. Oh, man. Cave Dweller, man, we do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here, brother. Uh, guys, if you guys are here, uh, someone in the chat, please just tell people to refresh. I had to have some fun, okay? I had to have a little bit of fun. What up, Yogi? <laughs> Good to see you as well. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, man. You gotta have fun where fun is due, man. You gotta have fun. Oh, man. Everyone's like, F, Ripperoonies. Come on now. It's W for me, come here. It's a W for her, Mike. Yogi, man, appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. I hope you're doing well. It, you know what it was? It was going too good. It was going too nice. You know, we had Sir coming in here tonight. You know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't just, you know, make him think that we were like, you know, I had to just show him how scuffed we were. Like, boom. Uh, what up, Cage Dweller? Man, looking good. Appreciate you, man. Should have stick, should have stick to the W nine. What do you mean? What do you mean, Yogue? We're doing... Oh, wait a minute, buddy. We're on quick jobs for the next 100,000 miles, brother. We have 100,000 miles of quick jobs, guys. Think about that for a moment. Uh, we are going to have uh, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah, John, if you can, just tell people in the chat to just refresh, man. Saw the YouTube vid? Yeah, man. Oh, come on, Yogi. Who doesn't love that horn? I, to be honest with you, this would be my, uh, that would be more or less my style, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, if you guys want, uh, someone just in the chat just say refresh or something. There you go. Now I might, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, I had to have fun, okay? Stop, stop yelling at me. I had to have fun. If it doesn't again, though, that's not me. I might lose power. I don't know. <laughs> might, might actually damn. Whoa, look at the fighter jet going across. That's cool. Just busting the chaps. Yeah, TM. That's what I do. See, I bust chops, but I do it in a very scuffed way. You know, I just kick my wires. <laughs> uh, if your stream is not working, refresh your stream. Appreciate you, Ben. There you go, man. Uh, yeah, so these uh, these will be uploaded to the YouTube side. It'll be uploaded to the VOD side. So if you guys do not have that, it's exclamation point VODs in the chat. V-O-D-S. Uh, that is where all the live streams that will go. Uh, you, YouTube has interesting algorithms, and we have... A lot of hammers that specifically love to just watch um, bots. So instead of them being taken over by other videos or whatnot, having the bot channel, a lot of a lot of content creators have it. Uh, we can just keep them there, so it's easier for you guys to access them. Uh, it's not my stream; it don't crash. See, oh, we didn't crash yet. If, we, if, this, if this goes if this goes again, then yes, John, we 100% crash. There's a problem then. But uh, no, I kicked her on purpose. I uh, didn't think we have the Bluetooth wires yet. I know. Got to have those, man. Got to have those Bluetooth wires. Give them. Uh, 35 through here. Watch the speed. 
Keep the headlights on. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Where am I going anyway? Another 16 miles. So also too, guys, I do use, obviously, I do use Truckee. Truckee is actually on my other screen currently. And I can see uh, what is going on. I can see the... Uh, oh, man, my uh, other thing fell down. Let me fix that real quick. The uh, I never set it up. Whoopsies. So my... Um, there it is. There we go. Uh, now the subs today reset. Wah, wah, wah. So anyway, um, I can see basically my loads and everything else going on over there on the left-hand side. As we pull here into Eli, as I blow the engine up because I can't even hear it. I guess what motor is it? It's probably a Mack motor if I had to uh, take a wild guess. Oh! You know what else I did, too? What's going on, Blonde Season? Good to see you as well. Guys, look at this. Oh, look at me. Yeah, buddy. Can't be an owner-operator series without the CB radio. Come on. Yeah, TN, we got to have that CB playing. There we go. Don't crash. Do not crash. Uh, hey, hey, City Rocks. Hey, cheers to you. How you doing? How was the holidays? How, how's Rock doing? Hopefully all you guys are well. Happy New Year to you. Hopefully you and the mister are doing good. Haven't seen you guys in a bit. Hope all is well. Glad to see you tonight. As we look around outside. And we're back. We're what up, booty? We've been back. Come on. We've been back for like 25 minutes, booty. Where you been at, booty? <laughs> Hi, booty. Yeah, guys, just hit refresh. Should be good. Uh, well, back to work. Catch you at the end of the stream. All right, Raptor. Good to see you, man. Have yourself a good night as well, brother. If we don't, don't work too hard. Do not work too hard. I was on the phone and chained to my truck, setting the ATS. That's right. What's going on, Tristan? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Guess what? Uh-oh. I'm not sure. Buried in snow? Oh, no. Well, hopefully you guys stay warm. Hopefully you guys are staying busy. Hey, what's going on, Leonard? Good to see you as well. We're cruising through the town here, trying not to get into an accident. Reading chat. Uh, hope everyone's having a good hump day. Uh, do you have a link to the Great America map for the truck driving game, American Truck Simulator? Uh, yes. All you gotta do, it was, um, I don't actually have a, a command for it, but, um, if you literally just go to, uh, patreon.com, I think it's like just slash voith, V-O-I-T-H, but the creator is voith. So even if you can't find it that way, you go to Google and just type in Great America Map Mod voith, you'll see, uh, the Patreon pop up for it. It's five bucks. Five doll hairs. And it is compatible with uh, the economy mod here. Come on, baby. Did I really stall it? Oh my god. Holy. Oh, I'm in fifth. That's why. Can I see my gear? Oh, I can. There's 5L. Okay, cool. Uh, this is Eli. That's where we're delivering here to Eli or in Eli. Um, I got my PC. It'll be here the 23rd or the 27th. Waiting for a call back about these job hop. I got the job being a 14 there to be a cook. Rajo, man. Roger Dodger, man. Hopefully the PC uh, has no more issues for you get it and be all set up and ready to rock. Hey, how you doing there? Nice to see you. Hey, what up, Natty Ice? Good to see you as well. How you doing, brother?
I'm gonna take every far low too that I can. Try. Do I have my lights on? Yes. 45 is the speed limit. Make sure we are doing it. Uh, only gotta pay a thousand. I'm doing payments. Pay it all of every two weeks. There you go, man. No shame. Build up that credit. Come on. right up here at the fuel stop. Hopefully, I don't drive a truck for somebody here and have to put fuel in it. That would be a uh, that would be a bummer. I know that seems pretty selfish, but I really hope I don't have to. I also feel like if we drive like another new gen truck like this, it should probably be an automatic. To be fair. Uh, on the Great America map, what version is it? Version 4.2 or 148? Nope, it's for 149. It's five. So, don't don't get a leaked version. <laughs> you have to go pay for the Patreon. It's right on there for you, bud. I watched the new YouTube video. Is this the new profile? It is, Coffee. Yep, yep, yep. This is it. You are here now. Just hope everything goes good. Maybe we'll be here soon. I'm downloading my mods now to a 4 terabyte. There you go, brother. Uh, it's it, it, it's totally worth the five bucks, Leonard. Don't I don't I don't condone anything like that. There, that's that'll just give you a virus on your computer. Stay away from all that. All right, four ways go on. Sorry, bro. I tried to join and it crashed. Nah, I had to have some fun. It was going too smooth, so I kicked the wire again. So I'm gonna keep this pretty straight. It's gonna give me the green. Maybe not. But I am going to make it a little bit straighter. What's in that Great American map? Is it worth getting? I mean, you get three states, right? You get Nebraska, you get Idaho, or uh, Nebraska, Iowa, North Dakota, oh, actually no. You get Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa. So it is uh, it's pretty, pretty good. Listen, for five bucks to test it out, it's worth, brother. 100%. Is this not going to give me it because it's an SES trailer and needs to be 100? Nope, there we go. All right. We'll unhook. Once we get our own equipment, we'll be able to jump out and do all our stuff. Uh, yeah, 100% worth it, Brownie. All righty. A little bit of XP there. And job market again. Quick jobs. Highest paying one. Ooh, international. Uh, 223 miles. We'll take it. Uh, I'm getting it to try it. There you go, Tristan. Yeah, it's a good time. I, I do like it a lot. All right. Uh, lights go on. Four ways come on. Let's hop on out. I love how we hop out under the truck, too. Again, we're going to pretend we'll check the oil on her. Can't tell you what motor's in this thing, though. Whoop. Check the old tires. Uh, B9 bot, to answer your question, yes. A lot of hand, a lot of guys take their steer tires and they'll throw them back on the trailer. You can absolutely put them on the trailer, for sure. Um, lots of quick jobs. That's right. How you doing, Mr. B9? Not. Uh, my daughter's in an appointment to finish. There you go, brother. Sure lights work on here. I like this truck a lot. Check our tires again. Ooh, look at the def system on this thing. Control our bolt. That'd be great, too, if we had bolts hanging out of the suspension. Doing this on every single one, too. Oh, look at this. Got the tag there as well. Place single coil here. Oh god, I hope Oh we got doubles! Oh my sweet Jesus Lord. So for doubles, we're gonna have basically the same kind of hook up here in the front. We're gonna have glad hands, of course, and everything else. So this is done by a pinnel hook. That's what that's called, is a pintle hook. It is not a dolly. This is a pinnel hook setup. Single are these single axles or are they tandems? Oh, the back one's a single. Okay. Um I was gonna say. 
Very interesting setup, though, here, how I guess they have the lines. Let me uh, get underneath this thing. There we go. Uh, yeah, they have the lines hooked up here. That's kind of interesting. That's nice. Uh, again, make sure everything's kind of hooked up, ready to go. Got our stuff there. Landing gears up. I'm going to sneak back under. Hey, Mr. Tally. Gift in one, guys. To Jay. Jay, welcome to the Super Trucker Club, brother, man. What up, Mr. Tally? Kicks more time. Wow, look at the light back there. That's interesting. I've never seen a light right here. Four ways are on back there as well. Another set of landing gear. Um, we're just going to... Okay, I'm going to have to crawl under the trailer here because uh, I'm not sure if this old uh, belly can sneak back there. Kaboom. All right, looking good back there. Tires looking good. Uh, big, yeah, big W, man. Uh, you get that fancy truck that have the hatch to get onto the truck. There, four can. Yeah, look at that. We'll look back again up here. What, we got spring right on this? What kind of setup is this? Yeah, I guess it's spring. Huh. Spring ride right there. That's cool. What's up, Keeper of Zombies? Good to see you as well. Checking the old taillights on the back there, 4TN1. Uh, kind of interesting having those hang a little low. Anyway. Uh, check the tires back here. Moving on up. Oh, my God. I love how, too, when I walk, I'm, like, lower than the trailer. I should probably be, like, right here. Uh, is this a free mod, too? Exclamation point. A lie in the chat. We'll bring you how to unlock the console. And we'll check over here. We'll squeeze on in. And we'll take a gander. And we'll grow 10 feet tall. Make sure all these are set up proper. They are. Lights in the back of the cab. Oh, my God. Where's the... Uh, where's the tube for the insurance and registration card? I didn't see it. Let me go to the other side. Run this side? No, no, I guess we're going to ride dirty with this thing today. Hey, Tristan, man, with the 300 bits, man. Get some W's and some my guys in the chat, will you please, man? Appreciate that, my guy. Appreciate you. I'm just blinding myself with my high beams. Uh, evening, sir. What up, E3 Scott? Good to see you as well. How we doing? All right, let's fire this thing on up. Crack a window. Crack a bottle. There we go. And the brakes are never on. Never understand why the brakes are never on. All right, so I'm going to actually release. I'm going to put my foot on the brake, release it. You'll see the trolley behind the steering wheel there. If I pull my red brake out, it'll go down. That's going to test my trailer. That's the trailer brake. So you'll see right there. Very good. We are locked and loaded. Uh, you always be there when I need you, so I want to thank you. Pretty appreciate you, man. Uh, hey, look, they aren't AC Calis. Not like any more of the game we know. There you go, brother. There you go. Mm. Yeah, they're not. Uh, they're not electrical line hookups now. All right, hammers. We're gonna roll this thing on out of here as well. We got 223 miles here with the old international. Keep on. I really, actually, you know what? Let me pull my brake one more time. I got to adjust my seat. I really like this truck. Now, of course, I know. Oh, Mike, it's not a, uh, it's not a Peterbilt. It's not a Kenworth. No, it's not. It's the old International Corn Binder. I like this truck a lot. Uh, problem with this truck. Oh, hold on. Who wants to have some fun? I thought about this already, and it seems to be this is going to be the situation for it. Notice something about this International. There's no gypsus. So, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to figure it on out. Do I have a pen? Anywhere? Anybody? Anybody got a pen? Oh brother, we're gonna do no, we're gonna do uh, no GPS right now too. 
We're doing no GPS right now. Hold on one sec, though. Uh, let me do this real quick. Hold on. Let me uh, find a... Find a pen. Wow. Might, might get really interesting. Exactly. This is exactly what I wanted to happen at some point. Uh, look at the old map. That's right. I actually, too, have my original book that Mrs. Maud had, uh, had, had given me. All right, so we are here in Elko. And we are going to go 80 East. 93 North. Oh, shnikes. All right. 93 North in a catch -em. 75 question mark. Dollar. General. On the right. We're going to make a left at the... One... Two, three. Split for 75? You know that's a split for 75? Yeah, right. Pass cue it. And we are delivering to... Oops! That's our delivery. Oh! Dang it, Bobby! Dropping things. Uh, no GBS. We're doing no GBS right now. Yes. Uh, look at the old map. That's right. What up, Ken? Worth you to see you, man. Uh, the old base map. The only map you need. I love this map. Don't hate on it, Brett. Don't hate on it. Don't make me ban you. <laughs> uh, what's your opinion on a 16 or 18? I'm a, I'm a 16 fan. I got a 16 here. I also had a 16 in my real truck. I like 16. Uh, I think there's a setting for that in the gameplay options to have the brakes applied. Really? I never noticed that. All right, um, let me just make sure when I leave here, yeah, I got to get back out on the 80. All right, cool. And then we're going to head up the 93. Uh, auto park and brake in gameplay settings. Automatic parking dialogue. Parking difficulty. Advanced. Automatic retarder engine brake. Automatic parking brake engaged. Good deal. Good looks. Good looks. Good looks, guys. Good looks. Good looks. Good looks. Appreciate y'all. That makes a lot better sense to do it that way. Oh, God. I can't even see how this thing. Oh god, I can't see everything. This truck sounds really good, actually. I ah, appreciate you, Yogi. Uh, appreciate you, Kenworth. Hammer down. What up, Adam? Good to see you, man. How we doing tonight? Good to see you. Am I, like, crooked again? I have, I'm almost gonna have to get those, like, rollers for the trailer. All right, baby. No GPS in in the owner operator series. There we go. Going good, Kenworth. How are we doing, brother? Hopefully you're doing well. Five o'clock in the morning. The sun should be coming up here shortly. Uh, did I miss anything? Nah, not too crazy much. Nothing too too crazy. Hey, what up, CF John? What's up, trucker? Uh, owner operator hype. Let's go. What up, brother man? How you doing, dude? Apparently, I'm lugging it here. Bring out the old Ram McNally, man. Right here, what do you do? <laughs> right now, someone's like, "Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! Where's all my waters and such? I need more snacks."
And green is the apple that we like. What truck and specs? Uh, this is a um, base game, man. I think this has got a 13 in her originally. They're all set up as 18s, though, at the moment. But uh, they asked us to hop into this truck to drive it over there to catch them. So we didn't ask too many questions. We just did the pre-trip and hopped right in her and came home. Thing sounds actually pretty good. This is all stock SES, by the way, guys. All the engine sounds, all that fun stuff. Everything's vanilla. Uh, even the brakes back there. I'm not really sure what the heck just happened to my trailer, but all uh, vanilla. So when we get on here, this is how scuffed it is. This is how dangerous I am with Elko, California. We're gonna go down the road here. We're gonna have the scale house. Hopefully, we go through the scale house. Go up to the next exit. Bear to the right. Bang a left. And take that all the way up in a catcher. Dog's freaking out. Jesus, Lord in heaven. I just blew the motor. Dog just walks behind me and sneezes. You good, dog? My lord. Uh, is there a printable map for ATC? Yeah, there is. Uh, I've already thought about that, to be honest with you. But you'd have to keep it completely bone stock. Uh, my son Lucas is watching with me. Enjoying the drive. What's going on, little Lucas? Uh, what series is this? Owner-operator, my man. Owner-operator. Exclamation point owner-op in the chat. Bring it to the video we released today. Uh, hopefully we get the green light. Green light it is, man. Green light it is. Green light it is. Owner operator 2.0. That's right. That's right, driver. Yeah, I don't want to pay whatever that fine is. I'm not really sure what that's going to be. That's probably going to be a hefty, hefty fine. Oh, yeah, buddy. Hey, Snow Turd. Coming down the big road. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community, Snow Turd. Appreciate that follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, just to let you know, we are on the big road of 5,000 followers here on the old Twitch side. Less than 1,200 away. Sounds like a lot, but I'm telling you guys, it's really not that much. You guys have been killing it every week. When we hit that big 5K, we'll be doing a 24-hour live stream. Come on. Truck passing? Let them go, man. Let them go. We'll do the double nickel. I'm in no hurry, brother. I'm in no hurry. I even do that in real life. Even today, on the, on the, on the road today, in real life. Guys want to go around me? Go right around me, man. I'm in no rush. Go for it, brother. Have at it. This truck is set up different. This got to be a 10-speed or something. This is a 10-speed truck. This is something scuffed. Uh, figured out why the settings reset sometimes. Just messing with the files. Um, I never even really realized that wasn't even a setting, to be completely honest. So will the current transmission just act as you have configured in the settings, or should you be changed to the settings to match the truck? It will configure to it, but we could probably uh, edit it to the truck. We could do it that way as well, yeah. But the problem is that, uh, well, I have to see. Let me double check. We'll, we'll, uh, let me see, because right now I have it configured to an 18 speed. And I really shouldn't be stopping here. But we will. But I just will uh, open up the... Oh, uh, uh, here. Uh, diagnostics. Uh, look at that. 10 speed, like I thought. So, it's weird because it didn't shift as a 10 speed. Oh, yo, it is. Oh, it is shifting as a 10 speed. It is, it is a 10 speed. So, it is shifting as a 10 speed. It's actually shifting... At, well... You know what? We're going to change that right now. It's shifting like a scuff 10 speed. We'll shift it like a real 10 speed, though. We'll do a 10 speed there. Uh, good idea. Let's do it that way. I wish during quick jobs they would tell you what transmission the truck has and you can configure the settings. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? See, I kind of knew it was a 10 speed coming into this thing. The way she shifted for a minute. That's why, if you just noticed a second ago, when I went to go, when I went to go shift and it out revved, and it revved up really, really high. That's why. I want my family and I to arrive alive to our destination. There, come on. That's right. 
I don't go faster than 65. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Uh, what's up, new to the series? What's the goal? Whew, be successful, brother. Be successful. Uh, we have a series there, exclamation point owner op. Been doing owner operator now for a few months. Unfortunately, the original profile ended up disappearing as I uh, reset my PC. All my other profiles are good to go, except that one. Not really sure why that one decided to disappear, but uh, we've decided to uh, do a more elevated version of it. So basically, this is hardcore mode on steroids. We're doing it. You need to do about 100,000 miles just before you could even get to about $60,000 in your pocket. Then when you get to about level 10, you'll be able to maybe take an, a loan that's somewhat affordable uh, for you to buy, uh, be able to buy your own truck. It's very, very hardcore on uh, that. It, it's crazy. Uh, is that a radio station with a CB chatter? It is. It's the exclamation point CB in the chat. A radio station mod I threw together. Hey, what up there, HL bar? Even though you're the high bar, how you doing, brother? Problem is now is we actually have to read the road signs for what the speed limit is. Uh, that's another problem, too. I know we're in uh, Nevada, but uh, I don't know what the limit is out here. Hopefully the limits are not that high. All right, good. 70, good. Hey, what up, Big Purpin? Good to see you, man. It will. T it really does? I'll have to check that out. Hey, HL Bar, man. Mr. High Bar. Always, you know, I don't like HL. Always going to be the High Bar, man. Give it five to the community. We do appreciate you, Big Hammer. Guys, get some sub hives, some W's in the chat. We do appreciate you. I had no idea about that, Big Purple. We're going to check that out. It's an all easier way I found. Oh, that's right. We'll check it out, man. I like that a lot, man. Appreciate you, Mr. High Bar. There's some extra CV channels inside Pisser's Discord. Make sure you grab them modded. Yeah, I got them. Yes, sir. Yeah, I saw someone did the same thing, basically. Yep. Yeah, I got them. I have more of them. I just didn't add them in there yet. I've always meant to add them. They're just basically clips that are taken from... Uh, oh, they're just clips taken from some YouTube videos. Uh, what up, CJW? Good to see you, man. How you doing tonight, brother? What's going on, Soda? Good to see you as well. It's been forever and a day. Rock steady. I'm gonna wait right back. I gotta send a quick text now. I get this version of the realistic economy mod so there is a link to it on the youtube channel it's in his discord however please be mindful it is a beta don't add a million of your mods to it and everything else because if it breaks it's not supposed it, it's meant to be tested mostly what i'm currently using it for though is basically bulletproof there are no issues um but it is still a beta it's not yet released public, so make sure that, uh, you know, you, uh, you just keep that in mind. You know what I mean? What up, pitcher? Good to see you, man. Oh, don't wreck. Uh, I really get those. I know I did my own as well. Yeah, TM. Uh, I'm watching you playing GTA on the PS4 multitasking. What's going on, Dave? You're not texting and driving. Are you even a professional driver? Right. Right. I mean, wrong. Wrong. I think it's got a lot of power for a, uh, well, it's got a 10 speed, but. All righty. So as soon as we get into Ketchum, obviously going to tell me that I've discovered Ketchum. See how we're hacking? We haven't discovered Ketchum, so it's going to tell me that I'm in Ketchum. Uh, once I get in Ketchum, we'll be able to take a notice on the left-hand side. We'll see if there's a split for a 75 somewhere. But. Hey, Woods Racer! 
coming down the big road. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here, brother. Back out a little bit. Uh, would it be a bad idea to add load mods? Add load. You can add them. I'm just saying, though, like, you know, it's just like any other mod, you know? Uh, you know, just in case it breaks, you know what I mean? Not saying that you, but everyone will be like, you know? But it's just something to keep in mind, that's all. But, uh, I had to double check. I forget what breaks on it. Um, actually, I can check. Hold on. Let's not crash. But I did ask him. I know a lot of you guys always ask about, uh, map mods. And the answer is... Uh, so any map mods as long as it's the default map ratio if not you're going to run out of jobs and they won't regenerate so no one to one maps or one to three it has to be a stock map so i you know whatever that you know whatever coast to coast is whatever the other ones they should work as long as they're a stock ratio of a map how you find that out Good luck. I have no idea. <laughs> I have zero idea how to do that. That is above my pay grade. I uh, just got the Ruda's Highway Killer. Going to give it a try. What up, Craig? Nice choice, man. Uh, I think stock ratio is 1 to 15. You've got me. I, I have no idea, brother. You've got me tripping. I have no idea. All I know is I'm just trailer trucking. We got a way station up here, too. Oh, man. Can we get a... Uh, we get two for two. What up, D Brown? Two for two on the green. Two for two on the green. Two for two on the green. Yeah! International for life, baby. <laughs> Screw those Peterbilt. Screw those Kenworths. <laughs> International, baby. Yeah, buddy. The old Gord Banger. We're going to look around at that way station. We're going to give it a wave right back. Adios. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Uh, they should have people fishing outdoors. The only problem is they'll be fishing forever. Come on. And they'll be fishing forever. Come on back. Oh, uh, man. Well, I thought it was going to be 5 o'clock in the morning. Evidently, it's 5 o'clock at night. Uh, I didn't know if you guys called that on yet. It's now 8.28. It's still dark outside. Uh, should have uh, prepared myself for the darkness. Hey, high beams it is. Uh, I don't, don't speed. I wonder what horsepower is in this truck. I just can't keep looking. Beautiful night sky, though. Oh, Nelly. Nelly, Nelly. Come on, dude. Nice, bro. Come on out. No problem. I've got the wiggle wagons of, of good luck. Uh, 60 mile an hour here. The sun goes down really early with the real eco mod. Is there in my game, I drive the International LT, and my red to green ratio is 1 to 25. Oh, my God. International is where it's at, apparently. Come on. That's where we got to be all hanging out with, the old uh, the old International Corn Binder group. I like these internationals. I really do, actually. Uh, Filer. Old Jake and Brigham there. Uh, how you doing, by the way, Mars? Hopefully you're doing well. Railroad track. Bum bum. Bum bum. 107,000 miles on this truck. Oh, she's barely broken in, boys. I wonder what level we're going to unlock the uh, used truck dealership at. So, you guys weren't here in the beginning of the stream when I was explaining it. Uh, the used truck dealer is random at unlock. It'll, for everybody, I'm assuming. So, it'll open up either uh, somewhere between levels 1 and 5. Or when a certain amount of loads are done. So it should be interesting to see uh, when we do unlock that. I wouldn't mind international. I like the internationals. I like the older ones more, but... Twin Falls has been discovered, and on the brakes we are. Uh, good old 13 letters. She's brighter. Give me that right there, Steven. What's going on, man? That ain't right, brother. <laughs> Come on, man. That ain't right. How you doing, Steve? Good to see you tonight. Just laid back in my international. Hey, listen. At least it's not a pro star. 
Uh, you say that and you unlock it this load. I kind of was hoping. Supercar. Supercar King, you got me. You got me. I was kind of hoping maybe I had the good luck of Gab. If you, oh, if you guys watched the older uh, series, what we did, I did not unlock. What was it that I took forever on? I forgot what it was that took forever. Oh, the bank loans. So supposedly, like, you get the, like, 250000 loan at, like, level 6 or 7. And everybody that was, like, commenting on the video, they're all like, Yeah, man, I got a level 6. I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah, man, I got a level 7. Some guy's like, I got a level 5. I'm like, level 5? Meanwhile, I didn't get my $250,000 loan to level 9. I was like, are you joking me right now? Is this real life? Uh, what's wrong with the Pro Stars? Ah, that's an acquired taste. I'm just not a crazy fan. Uh, just wish SES would fix the wiper animation on the internationals. Confused. Almost messed up that gear royally. Oh. My God. Uh, Pro Star just the older LT, I think. They just they look a little interesting. That's all. Not really my cup of tea. I don't hate on them. I would just prefer this one over it, though. They're very uh, above their time. Uh, oh God! I thought we were gonna wreck. Uh, myself, I like the Eagles. That's what this one is, yeah. I like an old 9300. I do like the old, uh, the old ones here. Come on. What's the, uh, speed limit here? Oh, does it really when it rains? Oh, no, Kenworth. Hopefully it doesn't rain in the truck. Uh, 93 is left to right. Wait a minute. Hold on. Ninety-three north. Should I? I don't. Eighty east. I think I gotta make a left here. I think I have to make a left this light. I need 93 north, and that sign right there to my right. Hey, buddy! Says uh, 93 to the left. And left means north, right? Is that what left means? Always remember that, kids. <laughs> left means north. <laughs> That does not, that does not mean that, by the way. Uh, do not, uh, do not, do not follow that direction. Uh, so 93 North. What was my other, uh, oh God. What else am I supposed to do? Don't wreck. 93 North. I'm going to be reading my book like an old man. 93 North. And then we're going to run into Ketchum, and we're going to see a split for 75. Dollar... Oh, crap. Look at this. I'm reading a novel. In what way does the international get the appreciation from the other manufacturer, such as Bacall? Anyway. Um, look at this. I'm such a scholar right now. Ah, oh, good day, sir. I'm just reading my book as I drive my international. It is of the European descent. Meanwhile, I'm lost as uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at this guy walking on the bridge. Was he taking a photo? What the heck? Was he shooting something? Jesus, Lord in heaven. Um, all right, so we got to find a 75, whatever the heck that is. Not really sure how 75 is going to just magically appear itself, but uh, that's what we're going to look for as soon as we enter catch him. 
Uh, is this gonna go on YouTube? What up, Mega Fan? Yeah, it's gonna go to the VOD channel. Yep. Uh, all you need is a cup of tea. Well, it's not a cup of tea. It's a cuppa, right? C U P P A. Cuppa. 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 Yeah. So every time I play this profile, and this is for anyone who's curious, anytime the wheels are turning on this profile, it will be recorded. If uh, there's going to be any type of updates and all that, of course, we're going to have a video come out every week on the Modded ATS channel going over of uh, what's going on. And then any of the live streams that we do, unless it's something crazy, will be uploaded to the VOD channel. Uh, I write down my roads on doing no GPS. Oh, you gotta. Uh, is that MapQuest direction in the book? Is there, remember MapQuest? How horrible is MapQuest? MapQuest was literally the worst thing ever. Now that I think about it, it should have been a spot of tea. Spot of tea. I like this truck's interior, very old school, and I can't wait for the Mac Pinnacle. Yeah, I'm very interested to see when it's going to come out. I agree with you, Big Hammer. I agree with you. I agree with you. All right, still 93 North. I haven't seen any signs for Ketchum. Hey, Mike, what's the best Reaper van trailer? Uh, I have no idea off the top of my head, brother man. I use Rudas mostly. Uh, his trailer pack. Dom has one. Vanguard is Jasper. Uh, there's a lot of hammers out there that have them. Sartan has got one that just updated. I think it was a utility or a Vanguard. Does owning a trailer earn you more money? I believe so. I'm going to double check that. We'll have that answer for you next time. So this is a, a beta version of it. This is like real hardcore mode mega fan. So if you didn't watch the video from this morning or this afternoon, uh, we'll be doing over 100,000 miles before we can even buy our own truck. Uh, Bart's Great Dane is pretty good for 25. There you go, man. All right, so yeah, then you know, yep. 10 speeds are scuffed. What is that eighth gear and barely 30? That's right. At sixth, seventh, But it's also what the gearing is on this truck. Whatever the gearing is, is probably a very uh, high gear. Because this top speed on this truck is nowhere near 70 miles an hour. It's scuffed. Ooh, a little bit of a better horn. It's scuffed. I really do like this truck, though, a lot. He's sexy and hard. Excuse me. Hey, Jura! Coming down the big road. Appreciate the follow. <laughs> welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There we go. All right, keep an eye out for 75. Sorry I'm not really paying attention 100% to chat. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, good. Oh, my God. Look, this is the law. Hello. All right. Goodbye there, officer. I uh, wish this game would come to console. I know a lot of older console gamers are to love this game. I think the markers of the game will make a lot of money bringing it to the console. Uh, they're thinking about it. You're just not going to get the mods for it, for sure. Hey, Jelly Roll. Coming down the big room. Appreciate that, Apollo. Welcome to the Amber community. Glad to have you here. Look at this guy. Uh, literally just came across your YouTube and just started watching the series. Heard you mention you're probably going to be live on here, so decided to check your Twitch. I appreciate it, man. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you a part of it. Yeah, you are watching it live right now off of the, uh, the new restart. So I'm not sure if you started, uh, you know, on the original there, but uh, this is the, uh, the new one. And it's a little bit more on the veteran side than the older one. 75, 75, all right, all right. Okay. No idea how I got on 75 just now. No idea how I just got on 75, but I did. <laughs> what is going on? All right. Um... Should double check to see if there's gonna be a rest area around this area. 
It didn't say welcome to catch him yet, and I should be making a left by catch him. Sun Valley, easy. Uh, is your first truck going to be the old Peterbilt? I love that truck. I don't know, man. We're going to have you. I'm going to have you guys be very much involved. Um, so if you guys are not following me on the YouTube channel, make sure you do exclamation point YT. And when we get to that point or when we're getting close, we're going to have polls out. Okay. I want to have the consensus of the community. I want you guys to be a part of it. So, uh, you know, we'll put some polls out and get a rough idea of what you guys would like to see uh, truck-wise, mod-wise. Because I'm not going to add, like, 75,000 mods to this profile just for the hell of it. Like, right now, we only have, like, literally four mods in here. It's all that's needed right now. There's no reason to put in Pisser's truck. There's no reason to put in a Roll-In or a Ruta or nothing because we're not using it. So, until we're able to use a truck, we'll go ahead and do so. But uh, I want you guys to be a part of that and... Uh, being make be, you know being in our decision making here on the uh, on the choices we make here as an owner operator, but um, you know realistic mods wise though we're, we'll, I'll be adding those as I as I see fit. Uh, right now tonight I do have Project Next Gen in. Not a hundred percent sure if I'm going to keep it or not because really the SCS graphics are very much good enough. Um, and quite frankly, I don't really feel like having three extra mods in there. If I'm being completely honest. Uh, decision to be made in about one month or so. Yeah, hey, listen, that's going to be the other cool thing, too, is, like, here's the thing, too, that really kicks me. Like, I, so I'm a very big fan of, like, uh, MMORPGs, okay? So if you don't know what an MMORPG is... It's a massive multiplayer online game and it's a role playing game, okay? So what that means is like, you could also start, a lot of these games you can start from scratch and then you build the profile up as you go over time. It's very difficult in some sense of the term to do that here in American Truck Simulator because it could be very fast and the story is basically the same. So with this profile though, I want to follow that idea, like, start off from nothing and, and watch as we build. Okay, now we're in trouble. Hold on a second. Catch him as discovered. Okay, cool. Uh, Swimmer, 2604. Appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hamrack community. Glad to have you here. Uh, we are looking for the UPS. Where is UPS? What's going on, Mudge? Uh, Dollar General. That was supposed to be on the right. I think it's the third light. It would be really cool if it had a sign out here that said, like, UPS deliveries, make a lift. Um... But that's going to be the cool thing with this profile is we're going to be able to look back and see where we were and how far we've grown. Uh, and you guys can actually watch it progress over time and, you know, through the live streams every night. And, you know, be able to be like, wow, man, remember when we were lost in Ketchum? And I was like, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's this one. So if this is not it, yeah, yo, tell me, tell me, I am not a uh, no GPS or baby. Tell me, God, I love that profile. UPS is going to be up here on the left hand side, baby. Let's go to the show. Let's go to the show. There she is. There's the oops. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Pull here into the UPS. We'll throw the four ways on when we straighten on out. There it is. Hey, Tom, what's going on, man? You keep sweeping that ground, okay? We'll see you next week. Anyway, what's up, Mud? Good to see you. Uh, remember, when was Mike, hey, remember when Mike was level two? <laughs> and then, see, here's the funny thing, John. Is that'll be in a month? We'll say that, and I'll be like, and then someone's gonna say, "Oh my god, I can't believe he's only level three right now." 
I saw the Great America mod and I'm about to load it up for the first time. Here's hoping. There you go, 42. Oh, baby. Give. Oh, we have the doubles. That's what. Oh my God, yo, I had doubles on. <laughs> I forgot I had doubles. Oh, come around, baby. I totally forgot I had doubles. If we don't get this on the first shot, that's going to really suck. With the doubles. Uh, we don't have this. If we do, it's a miracle by God. It's a miracle by God. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be interesting. I do have some time time, like, dink. Oh, doubles, uh-oh. Turn on the CB. Ah, uh, yeah, she's moving. All right, so. Is that the way I need to go now? Uh, Jimmy John. Jimmy John. It's going to be interesting, to say the least. Which way do I need to go? This way. Just give me that little bit. Oh. I had that struggle on a heavy oversized load. Oh, dude, the oversized load, too. It sucks, man. I don't think that's going to be it. Yeah, I keep pushing it the same way. I don't like the pinnel hook. I'll be honest with you. I don't like the pinnel hook. What up, Plum Pete? Does anyone still know me? My name is different. My man, we're using your mirror mod. Give on back. Fifteen XP isn't worth my time parking the dubs. I gotcha. This is gonna be a interesting uh turnaround here. Hopefully we're not late with this load. This is gonna suck. Uh, what mods are you running? Uh, they're listed in the description on the YouTube side. There's literally no mods in here besides just the Realistic Economy mod, which is in the beta. Realistic Companies, Serial Blacks, Physics. And the Plum Pete Mirror mod. Give me Icons, like silly stuff. There's only like five mods in here. going on man doing good man how are you I'm trying to park this thing i don't like the uh the panel hook setup all right this should be it and it's not it i'm gonna cry this should be it oh hey mr so didn't add the camera W900A? Negative. No mods are in this thing yet. Nope. I'm going to have you guys all decide what trucks we're going to use when we get to the time. Uh, for right now, though, um, we're going to literally have to do almost 100,000 miles uh, before we even put any mod in here, before we even get a truck. Uh, we can buy a trailer. Buy a trailer. We only have $500 for the day right now. Uh, and these all will unlock around level 15. All right, another job. Let's go for it, baby. Uh, wow, we got one. $72. That's right. We're going to be driving the old... Oh, look at that, guys. We're pulling limestone. Yeah. You doing real economy? We're doing real economy 
harder core. Uh, right now we're doing the real economy, but it's uh, even more advanced, Mudge. Uh, there's a lot more uh, difficulty. $72. Does that even pay for the gas? Not my gas, baby. But um bump. Why don't I have that on this one anymore? I gotta add that. Ba -dum -bum. Uh, what do I wanna do right now? Lights. Are lights on? Oh. There we go. I got my high beams on too. Alright, let's hop out of the truck here again. Take a gander at what we're pulling. 100 car miles of quick jobs. Oh, lol. That's right. Yeah, and like I told you guys there on the YouTubes. Oh, baby. Yeah. Detroit. That's right. Open up the hood here. We'll check the old oil on the old star car. Of course, kick the old tires. Check her on out. This is not our truck. High beams are looking glorious. Very nice. Look at the tires over here. Oh, Detroit. Does this have the weird latch too, like mine? Kind of. I'll have to explain what that is. Um, looking at all the lights there, guys. Making sure the four ways work. We got the big old bunk in here. The old Western Star. Make sure the fuel caps are good to go. Interesting fender here with the dent. That's a bit peculiar. Uh, ooh, doubles again. Dang, Billy. Uh, look down here. Make sure everything's good to go. We'd, we'd have a flashlight here. I, wow, true. Wait a minute. Okay. I thought that was true duels for a minute. I'm like, that's impossible. Anyway, uh, very cool how the exhaust is set up there, by the way. Very, very cool. Uh, coming down here now on a trailer like this with the belly dumps, uh, I would check things over here. Make sure that everything's locked up, good to go. Make sure everything is um, where it needs to be. These hinges are good. Um, make sure everything is nice and tidy down. Spring ride, baby. No air ride here on these trailers. Make sure everything's set up here proper. See, this is set up a little bit differently than the other trailer, right? See how the cables kind of wrap around a little bit better? Uh, this one I don't mind. Another pinhole hook, by the way, guys. Another pinhole hook. Make sure the lines work back there. 410-1 on the 4412. Uh, that's looking good there. Make sure all the bolts there are pretty good, not rusty. Uh, moving on back there. Look at the wheel. There she is, looking large. Okay. I thought maybe there'd be lights there instead. Uh, same thing back here with this one, this dump. Check that out, the back one. Coming back around. Ooh, big 600 over there. Uh, Coming back around. Got the old Dynamix on here. Come on. Same things on this side. Tarp strapped down. Wow, look at that, guys. Manual tarps, huh? Huh. Check that out. Are they really manual tarps? They are manual tarps. Manual tarps meaning, like, I had to actually unfold that and put that on. Um, eco <laughs> Economy friendly. Uh, do, 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 do. Make sure this is all good to go. Looking large, looking large. How's the tank up here? All right, that gauge looks like it's seeing a little bit of a better day, but we're not going to worry about that. Four ways of working back there. Scoop my, my my chubby belly through here. Make sure that my lines are good. Does this got a PTO on it? No, it doesn't. Lines are good. All crisscrossy, ready to rock. Ah, oh, see, here it is. That little circular spot, that's where you usually would keep the uh, registration insurance card on the trailers, by the way. Fun fact. Uh, yeah. Let's hop up in the ride. Boop. And I should have done what you guys told me before, but I'm going to look at the diagnostics anyway. Uh, oh, yes, it's automatic. Oh, yeah, we're going to drive it automatic. That's right, baby. We are going to drive it automatic, too. Hell yeah, we are. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're going to drive this thing automatic. Throw that thing in auto zone. Uh, all about the doubles. That's right. Is there a way to get the version of the mod? Yes, it's in their Discord, man. It is in their Discord. What up, Mr. Pister? Good to see you. Uh, buy me dinner with that. That's right. That's right. All right. Quick job is in progress. Fired up. Oh, yeah. Now. Uh, I'm going to release. Oh, look at that. The brake's on too, man. So appreciate that. Pull down the trolley. Looking good. Release the trolley. And, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy this for sure. Oh yeah. A little bit of a scuff spot coming out of here. Watch my overhang. 
Oh, yeah. What are you driving now? We're in our Western Star. The old Star Car. Got 100,000 miles to do of quick jobs, my friends. 100,000. Uh, I'm going to pull the brake, though, again. Set my seat up, because I always realize uh, we're always sitting to the moon. Let me move up a little bit. There we go. And release the brake. And we'll throw the CB on. It's not inside the truck here at the moment. Hey, but look at that. We got a Gypsus. Uh, I do like the W900s, but must admit the Western Star has some nice trucks. Western Star has got really nice rides. Western Star is a pretty nice truck for sure. Uh, close and low. That's right. Got no hood on her, man. We can always sit very close. I'm leave the four ways on here as I leave the depot here, or the, uh, the somewhat makeshift quarry. Now, we are headed down to Twin Falls to another BHP. We're pulling out of a BHP. We're going to have another style spot like this one here. It's going to be nice and easy as a pull-in. We're going to watch that back there. Uh, episode 205. Guys, we're getting close to level 4. That's right. I know you're right. Got the big old Detroit in this one, though. Uh, I was always wondering about that. The proper seating should be can't see the hood. That's right, Gobby. Uh, I mean, listen, when I, I mean, whatever you're comfortable with, right? I sit on the floor, though. I don't, I, I mean, you get very comfortable with it. I mean, me personally, I do. Um, you just kind of happen to know your surroundings. Like, when I drive a Peterbilt, I'm on the floor. Yeah, I don't, I don't look at the, yeah, the hood's there, man. I, I know basically how many hood lengths. I'm, I'm more or less by the hood lengths, come on, uh, on how close I can get to something. Ooh, what did what did the wife say? <sighs> Water is good. Stay hydrated, my friends. Oh god, the automatic life is so where it's at right now. As we drive out here into the night sky with the 12-speed. Four ways are off. Blinks are off. Check the mirrors. Everything's looking good. What's going on, Big Sky? Good to see you, brother. How you doing tonight? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. So, yeah, guys. You guys are tuning in right now to the owner-operator profile. We did release the video. Sorry about that there, Hammer. We did release the video earlier today on it and what is new to come with it. This is going to be a more advanced one than the previous. By more advanced, there are some new uh, standards. Meaning between levels 1 and 9 is more or less like a training phase. Level 10 to 15 is when we're going to be working towards actually buying our own truck. By the time we get to level 15, we should at that point have close uh, to $68,000, which is crazy to think about. And then uh, we'll also have about 100,000 miles here in the game uh, already done. So we're on the terms of completing Limestone's 100,000 mile goal. Once Limestone is completed, we'll be uh, adding a little bit more of this there into the mix. And then, like I said to you guys earlier, we will be adding the truck mods too here. But having you guys again, like Limestone, involved on what we add and such and of course that profile limestone is not going anywhere we're still going to try to go over that 100 percent over there and have all good times with that but we'll be doing it break down for the week what's going on darrow good to see you as well how we doing you driving an automatic hey that's what the truck came with hammer that's what we're driving catch you later got me eat something there you go man all right we'll catch you on the next one plump pete hope you stay well brother hope everything was good new year christmas all that all right there peter Carr. we do appreciate you thank you thank you thank you we'll uh We'll head on out here with our dubs. Mirrors are looking pretty good. I didn't even adjust my mirrors. I should have adjusted them. What's going on there, Mega Man? Come on. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Uh, how goes it? It's going good, man. Going good. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. I got pictures pistol truck. I ain't mine. Peaches and cream. It's orange frame cream cat. There you go, driver. Doing good. Good to hear, brother. Good to hear. Look how big the Gypsus is right there to our uh, right-hand side. Doing good, friend. Doing good. I don't think I've ever seen you use a GPS mod like Waze, etc. Uh, nope. I don't have any of them. 
I mean, I use Waze in real life. I don't use a truck GPS in real life. I use Waze. Um, the dog was next to me. I'm good. Just came over after watching the latest YouTube video and I heard about what happened to the other save. The entire profile is gone, man. Uh, it just did not come over. Every profile I had came over except this one. I'm, I, I'm kind of at a loss. Um, doesn't make sense, but it was meant to happen, I suppose, you know? It was meant to be. But uh, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Just move on and uh, continue on with it. I would have been very, 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 very upset, though, uh, if I lost the no GPS profile. Do I got to pull in here? Green light, green light, green light. Whoa! Easy there, buddy. Uh, if I lost the no GPS profile, I'd probably be offline right now. I'd be that upset about it. Not saying that I'm not upset about the owner-operator losing it, but the owner-operator um, has more of a intention to fail, right? Um, obviously, we get into accidents or whatever. We're going to go bankrupt, and that's it. You go bankrupt, you're kind of done. But um, the no GPS is just a gentle soul. She's such a beautiful, gentle soul. Uh, let's go around the bend here. Good evening, Mike. What's up, DBS? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well tonight. It's going to be cold in my area pretty soon. Sunday's going to be a high of negative 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, my God. Next week is supposed to be pretty uh, chilly towards the end of the week uh, for us as well. But I'll take the 55 degrees today. That's what I'll take. Come on. I like that. We'll take that to the bank. Uh, I got a big truck trying to pass me. Getting off right over here. I almost went for the shifter. Big break. Oh, wow. Hear that? Oh, my God. Almost lost it already on the owner operator profile. Locked up the wheels. Locked up the wheels. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Costco sells very nice cat hoodies. I got one today. Really? I didn't know that. I got my 18 of Life shirt on right now. I didn't know they sold that. Uh, how's Diesel doing? He's doing good, man. He's in the, hopefully in the bedroom sleeping. I don't need him eating anything right now. Mrs. Mod had ran out tonight for a little bit. I don't need, uh, I don't need her to come home and me get in trouble. Come on. Uh, we're supposed to be in single digits to start next week here in Texas. My old girl ain't gonna be too happy starting these mornings. That's right. Thinking Frosty Mod added to this profile is a must need. Really makes you work for it. Uh, you're crazy. Okay, Justin, you're crazy. You're crazy. Just letting you know that right now. You're crazy. Um, what's the temperature out? 71 degrees Fahrenheit, brother. We'll take that all day. You are crazy, my friend. This guy is beautiful, man. 70 mile an hour speed limit with Tager. Ride that shoulder a little bit. Up around the river bend. Sorry about that hammer. Sorry about it. Need that on just in case we hit a deer. Come on. Uh, what's the furthest you've drove IRL? Uh, well, my record in one... It, well, that's a loaded question. Um, furthest I've ever driven is to Texas in a car. But that was also when I also hit my record of how far I've gone in a car in one day. Most miles I've ever done in a truck were a little less in one day. Cold starts on my Cummins ISX is like me. 60 series used to be. There you go. Oh, oh, little bump there. Uh, so the most miles I've gone in a car in one single drive has been around any. It's like 
rough. It's between like 1,100 and 1,200 miles in one single shot. Uh, and that was from New Jersey to, uh, that was from New Jersey to Mississippi. And that's when I was on my way to Texas. My friend was getting married and uh, I said to the missus, see how long I can go. Furthest I've ever driven in a truck though was over 900 in one day. Uh, what you hauling? Right now we got a load of uh, limestone on ironically. Headed down to Twin Falls. Should be there shortly. Oh my god, we almost hit the guard. Oh my god. Car on the shoulder. Uh, damn, that's a good day. That's right. How many states have you been to in a truck? Uh, geez. Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Ohio. Ten to twelve, we'll say it at ten to twelve. Drove through a little bit of Rhode Island, but ten to twelve-ish, give or take. North Carolina, ten to twelve. But I'm local. I've been home every night though during that time period. I've never had to stay overnight in a truck. Been to the Canada border in a truck too. Come on. That was a nice day. That was a 16-hour day straight up. That was a long day. Uh, yes, I have my tanker endorsement. I, uh, my license is maxed out. I just don't have hazmat. I have triple trailer, double trailer, tanker. Yep. I don't have passenger, though. I never, I'm never. i not interested in school buses. What truckers don't say overnight? What what truckers don't doesn't stay overnight in a truck? Casual driver? Uh, I guess. They got to follow the rules. I don't. Uh, realistic hit coming in, man, with the raid. Appreciate that, brother. How's the stream tonight, man? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you, man. Have some fun. Put some miles down. Uh, what would you say the best looking state you've been to while on the job? My favorite state, the best looking state? Um, uh, you know, as, as much hate as I do give it. There are some really, really nice sections of Pennsylvania that you will not get anywhere else in a truck. Uh, that is a fact. Oh, West Virginia. Been through West Virginia as well. West Virginia is kind of cool. Uh, West Virginia is kind of cool in the morning going through Ohio. Ohio, I, see, me personally, I, I like states that are wide open. Like, Kansas, for example, here in the game, everyone's like, oh, there's nothing around. I like that. Um, I'm good with the whole New York City and traffic and all that BS. I'm good, man. I don't need all that. You know, I, I don't need all that stupidness. I, I've done it enough. I'm good. You know, I, I like just stretching the old legs. Like, uh, where we're running right now, we're headed out into uh, Lancaster area of Pennsylvania. It's very big Amish. And I love it, man. I love the ride. Uh, that's my kind of style of driving, you know, just lean back in the seat, throw the hammer down, and just cruise, you know. Uh, that That's kind of my kind of trucking. Um, I'd, I'd like to drive personally. I think Texas looks like it's got some cool spots. Um, to be honest with you, I would like to, you know, it'd be cool. Listen, I never will, but it would be cool to run the 48 one time, but I never will. But um, it'd be interesting to see what all the states are like in a truck. But uh, what's going on, Realistic? How you doing, man? Hope you're doing good, brother. Uh, I used to haul flatbed into some areas of West Virginia and PA. You got some of those areas get real sketchy when you get on the big road. That's my style, man. Hey, Mars coming in with the prime sub, guys. Get some sub vibes in the chat for Big Mars coming in. Welcome back, dude. Nine month resub, dude. You're an absolute beast. Welcome back to the Super Trucker Club, brother. Uh, green light again. We'll take the green again. Uh, yeah, I gave you a shout out, Mr. Realistic. Hit it. I know it's low. It's a horn right now, man. Appreciate it. I'll say it again to you, man. Appreciate the raid. How is the stream? Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you put some miles down. Are you doing some trucking? It is, uh, I gotta change, that's the one thing I gotta change. It's like a little tiny horn, like a little beep beep. Little beep beep. 
I gotta change that out. I live in Lancaster County. Hey, you'll see me going up there, man. Every morning, man, we're running up uh, 41 to 30. Headed out that way. We're on the outskirts of it, though. Headed out 283. She was good. Used the good old res built. Yeah, 10. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. Glad to have you. Good time, man. We're going to fix that shout out key too soon. Uh, I just got to get around to it. I got to write. My problem is I got to write this stuff down. I always forget. Oh, 60 miles an hour here. Hey, Colin. Coming down the big road. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here, brother. Uh, I can only speak from the ATS experience, but I really do like the Montana, Oregon, Washington. I'd always like to drive through Montana. The big sky state. How you doing, Colin? Good to see you, man. Welcome. Um, I'd like to see what that's all about, for sure. I did the Northwest twice in my career. Scenery out there is beautiful, but I just been mainly in Texas. Yeah, TN. I just joined, by the way. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. We all heard the Jake Bray come down the big road. We do appreciate you, Big Hammer. Welcome. Uh, Montana 100. That's right. Headed back to Twin Falls. We are headed back to Twin Falls. Just change the alert to the Mac Anthem horn. No one will miss that. That's right. That's right there, 40 in. Or we'll hang, change it to this one. Um. Yeah, the big sky stay would be cool to see. Uh. Okay, I was not expecting that. I don't know why I thought we had a little bit of a ramp there. She's a beaut, Clark. That's right. She's a beaut. All right, we're going to keep it out here. That was that. Oh, listen. We almost just reset the profile. Uh, Favorite garage? Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I have an addiction to Bakersfield in the game. That's just not a... Uh, it's just not healthy. Like, I have no interest, no offense if anyone's from California. Uh, I have no interest in California whatsoever. But the in game California, I get down with. You know what I mean? I can dabble with the in game California, especially Bakersfield. That is my jam. But uh, IRL, no, thank you. We don't uh, see eye to eye. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, wow. What a slap in the face. What an absolute slap in the face. <laughs> the other one goes up just like, hey, dude, over here. Uh, this is going to be scuff now. That was a slap in the face. I, you know, as soon as I pulled up, I noticed. And I'm like, son of a gun. Wow, that was great, man. I love how that just thing just went up just casually like, over here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And the doubles make it through. All right. Let's make sure we don't scuff this up now because there's not a lot of room back here. What up, cowboy? Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. Uh, I'm from Bakersfield. That's why I like watching the channel. Yeah, it's in the old Golden State, Peter Carr. Yeah, I know Golden State's out there. But, uh, yeah, no offense, Coffee. No offense. I love you. Uh, I just, yeah, I just can't stay. You know, listen, I'm old school, man. I like that. I like that diesel smoke rolling. Give out. Uh, I like rolling coal and Jake breaks and California frowns on it. California's not uh, not my biggest fan when it comes to that. Come on. Maybe some pizza rolls. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go, big ammo. Get that pizza roll. Uh, appreciate the follow, cowboy. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. Guys, if you guys are new here, we are on the big road of 5,000 followers. We are going to be doing a 24-hour live stream when we do that. We are rocking right now with the owner-operator series, exclamation point, owner-op in the chat. We'll show you a little bit about it and what it's all about. We do have a series. We've been doing it for a little while now. And uh, we had lost the profile, unfortunately, due to unforeseen events. Due to the Steam Cloud, I guess, deciding it was going to pick that profile uh, not to transfer over. However, though, we are now doing this on a more advanced level. Uh, we are doing this on not just a hardcore mode, but basically hardcore mode on steroids. So this is going to be real interesting and real fun to see. Uh, we are just about to be level two. We'll probably be level three in about a year or so. Moving on up here, we're going to pull this right up. There's the green. And shut her down. And unhook her. Uh, what's your settings for the physics 
bot if you don't mind showing exactly what he recommends, brother. Everything is down. I can show you. I can show you. All right, guys. There it is. Level one. Now. Hold on a minute. So, this is a big deal. Notice how he says to you in the description. So, this is the beta version of it, right? He also says when you do the long distance, see how this says 0% higher reward? But here's the actual deal. This is the reward, 2,500 miles. You need the miles. I'm going to add the first one a long distance. We're going to get a little bit of less reward. I'm not too worried about the money currently. I want the mileage. I want to put some miles down. Then I'll worry about these after. I might swap between these two. Maybe even get a little bit of fuel economy in there. Because we're going to need some fuel economy uh, very soon as well, too. We're going to need fuel economy because fuel is expensive. Fuel mod is in here as well. So that's part of the mod. So there we go. Two grand. Rocking. Next load. Let's find out. Now, uh, wow, another single. Oh, check that out, guys. So there, you guys were right. We can hover over this. The Volvo 2014 V&L 730, 435 horsepower with a 13 speed. So it looks like we'll be shifting gears again. Uh, going from here to Boise. Gosh, dang, $95, man. Big pimping on that one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Fleener Brothers runs a lot of clean W9s and Pete's and Cali. Fleener Brothers has some nice stuff all around for sure, for sure. Uh, looks like we're almost in the same exact location as we were previously. I'm going to change the controls now to a 13 speed. Oh, like what happened? Forgot we had it on automatic. And Vance, boom, 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 boom. Uh, I will be on the lookout for them. I do see some nice pizza cameras. Oh, yeah, they're, they're beauts. Uh, let's see here. Yep, there it is. All right, cool. Back here. Doing this again. Four ways. Hey, pretend trucker. Coming down the Bay Road. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Hope you're doing well. Wow, look at that. Interesting frame there. All right, moving along here. There's a Volvo. We do have a 13-speed in it. Just another another yellow rig. Yeah, you're right. It is another yellow one. Check that out, too. Pulling the old dump wagon. Bet you never thought you'd see big old Mike here in a little old Volvo. Of course, going to check the oil on this thing. Don't know what motor's in this. Might be a Detroit as well. Nevada plates, but Georgia plates. I'd rather put the high beams on, but it should be all right. The tires, these tires look a little bald. Come on back. Make sure there's no rust around the lug nuts. Come on, four ways are working. No lights up top. No fenders, so we're going to be throwing. Now, technically speaking, you don't need fenders on a truck that has a trailer on it. Uh, the trailer acts as a fender, uh, but this is going to be kind of scuffed. How you doing, Faithful One? Good to see you. Uh, single exhaust here. Everything looks good there. No fenders. You check, of course, everything again. Make sure everything's good. Got some mud flap weights on, or mud flap hangers. Make sure that's good. Not orange, but still big. Not really sure I get the logo. Anyway, moving along. I like this with the holes in the frame. I think that's cool, man. I like that design on her. Parker trailer in real life does the same thing. Maximizer style looking fenders. Wheels are looking good in the back. Double holes on the steelies. Looking back here. Oh, side dump. Side dump. This ain't going up and down. It's a side dump there, 42. Uh, this is big old bag in there to bump into something. Push bar, by the way. This is a big old push bar in case you get stuck. Looking good. Looking good. Making sure everything is good to go on her. Uh, you'd probably have to make sure that... Yeah, pin is here, so we'd make sure that pin is locked. I'm assuming there's gonna be up. Yep, there's another one down there. Hmm. Context clues. Got to have more than one pin. One pin can't hold that whole thing. Move down. Make sure the landing gear is good. Make sure everything's good to rock. Legs. <laughs> Legs. Make sure everything's good to go on her again. Yep. There's the other pin. Make sure that's good. Good old Joyce wheel. Fifth wheel there. That is. Make sure the hook is good there. Climb on up. Now, normally on this tractor, we'd have a, an additional line. We'd have a hydraulic line. Looks like this trailer has a dual in and out. So that means it's got a dual line there for it to circulate 100% all the way through. 
Hydraulic line going up, automatic tarp, make sure there's no leaks in there and everything else. So weird to see how that pivots left to right. I'm, I'm not a side number. I'm a I'm an end number. But anyway, we'll get on down and I guess there's gonna be no uh no registration insurance for this trailer. So DEF right there, Honor. That's a scary sight to see. Uh where's the cap for the uh I guess it might be buried in there. Maybe that folds down. I'm not sure. I'm not a Volvo kind of guy. I want to start a truck stop channel. Uh, my area, the record all the trucks coming in and out. That'd be kind of cool. Fire it on up. Ooh, she sounds mean. Oh, you. The best part is too is when I, if I ever like when I used to drive some of my buddy's trucks. You should really see how my pre-trips are like in like real life. When I'm like, all right, that tire's bald, so that's pretty good. We're just gonna we're just gonna make sure we stay in the right lane all day. <laughs> you know, I, uh, oh, that steel cords coming out. Yeah, we don't need those. We don't need those. Uh, probably get old D13. Yeah, TM. I want to start a truck stop shop. I already got that. I'm losing my mind now. What's going on, pretend trucker? Good to see, you, man. Uh, hope you're doing well. Good old ice tea. All right. Release one break. Trolley on. Oh, yeah. Swap it out. And there we go. If the tire still holds air, it's good. That's right. Well, there's different qualifications for tires. So, like... If you have a tire rated at a higher PSI that can handle like 120, then you're allowed to have 60 pounds of air in it as a minimum. Uh, if you have like 100 pounds, you're only allowed like 50, then you're technically considered out of service or the tire is or whatnot. But there's actually different uh, tiers for all that fun jazz. Ah, steering wheel looks like it's like made of like velvet or cloth. This thing sounds pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. Everybody always hates on the stock sounds and stuff. Some, some of these don't sound too shabby. I kind of can get down with this one a little bit, you know. Get down with it. Get down with it. Uh, it's only illegal if the DOT catches you. That's right. 414. Hopefully that's in the morning. 170,000 miles on this old girl. Uh, still got a full tank on her. Thing sounds pretty good if you ask me. Got a 13 in her. Sounds like a Cummins. It's got a uh, 13 in it. D13, I think it says. Not sure to be honest. 435, 435. Hey, Patrick. Coming down the big road. We do appreciate the follow, Patrick. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you a part of it. Hope you're doing well on this Wednesday, brother man. Oh yeah, pull pull some gears, Mike. Now what are we gonna do? Now we actually have to shift gears. Now I'm gonna Now I'm not gonna hopefully forget. Uh oh wow. Buddy just sent me a cool message. There's a way to uh Make the Diablo sandwich from Smokey and the Bandit. That's really cool. Hello from Germany. What's up? What's going on, man? How you doing? Hello from the US of A. Hello. Glad to have you a part of the Hammerhead community. Welcome. Doing a little bit of owner-operator trailer trucking. Hey, what's up, Nightbot? I'm going to go see myself out. We've been trucking literally the past like 45 minutes at night. Can we get a little bit of daylight? I think it is four o'clock in the morning though. So, uh, seen that on Kent Rollins today. What's that? Appreciate it. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. All right, we're gonna rock with it. Lean with it, rock with it. We're going to pull some gears on this one. 70 mile an hour is the destination for the speed. The sandwich? Oh. Is that what he, uh... 
Is that what this guy's name is? I'll tell you right now in two seconds. Cowboy Ken Rollins, man. Yup, that's what he just said. That's such a small world, brother. Yeah, it's funny. It's when my coworker sent it to me. I got one coworker that doesn't ever stop talking about smoking the bandit. And then uh, he just, the other coworker just put us in a group text and uh, sent that video from Ken Rollins. I'll have to check that out. That's cool, man. I, I, I didn't know who the guy was. Now you know. Damn straight, that's right. Are you a real trucker if you haven't seen Smoking the Bandit? Uh, I think it's required. Pretty much required, right? It's also probably required to watch. I think there's like a list of movies you have to watch, right? I feel like you have to watch Smoking the Bandit 1. Not worry about the other two. At least watch the first one. Watch Convoy. And you got to know what a maximum overdrive is. And then you're good to go. I feel like that should be a requirement. You need to know about maximum overdrive. Everyone forgets about maximum overdrive. Everyone always likes to compare Joyride, but nah, Joyride's Joyride, but you gotta, you gotta get with it. Uh, and Black Doll, oh, that's right. You should watch the TV series moving on. That's right, Keeper Zombies. That's my kind of talk right there, the F-42. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is. Yes, sir. That's right. That motor in that truck, so that truck in moving on is the exact setup of the other truck that I have with my dad there, the uh, 903 V8 Cummins uh, with the torsion bar. Uh, that's the truck that we're going to add to the other channel there and hopefully build it as a... Uh, as a uh, pull truck this year, man. There we go. 427 in the morning. My Volvo got boring. Take the bicycle cart out of my tire. Come on. Uh, they should put truck pulls in the game. Yeah, that'd be cool. But they're not going to. <laughs> it's way too complicated for the dynamics of the uh, mechanics of it. Can't angle that. Would be very cool, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Would be very cool. I'd be down with her. By the way, guys, we're doing this load right now for 95 whole dollars. The Jake break, by the way, in case y'all didn't know. Uh, maybe 20 years from now. Ah, uh, 42. Yeah, 10. Uh, yeah, 10, 10 on the side. Come on back. Currently 2 a.m. over here in Luxembourg. Tired, but enjoying the live. Well, Bando. Band of one. Let me tell you, man. Band of no. Band of one. Bando. Bando, Bandani. Listen, band, listen. Let's just say you happen to fall asleep. That's okay, brother. We will be uploading this to the VOD channel. Exclamation point VODs in the chat is the link to the VOD channel. So that's where all the live streams go in case you uh, miss maybe the end of it or any of the live streams. You got a spot where you could always catch up with her. Come on. Anything major, though, on this profile will be, of course... Uh, I will add that live stream though to the main channel but uh, for just the casual driving as we're going to be doing because let me tell you something Hammers we're going to be doing a lot of casual driving a lot uh, so that will be done primarily just thrown over there uh, on the VOD channel and then every week on the main channel we'll have updates uh, of what's going on here with this to keep everybody in the loop But this profile is gonna get it it's gonna get played very much. Oh god. Oh sweet heavens. 
Oh, great heavens! Uh, back out of it, back out of it. Don't wreck, please, Mike. 55, double nickel. It's the old double nickel speed limit. Come on, back. I can't even tell you how fast I'm going right now because I got my damn wheel in front of them. Oh. There it goes. So what is this profile you're playing right now? Is it from scratch? So this is a realistic profile. It is the realistic economy mod from GDC Logistics. Uh, it is known, I coined it as the owner operator profile a couple months back when we had the series on YouTube. Uh, we had about 27 episodes before I lost the profile due to uh, my Steam Cloud not doing the Steam Cloud things. And then the owner of the mod for the realistic economy has made a beta version, which is like super crazy. Like it's very, very hardcore uh, trucking. And we are starting that out from scratch. So if you do exclamation point owner op in the chat, it's going to bring you the link to the video that was just released today on the channel. You'll also see part of the old series there to give you an idea of what it's all about. And uh, right now you're watching it live as I just throw down some miles on her. Uh, where are we headed? How you doing, Bubba? We're headed over to Boise. To the Got about 10 minutes left here, about 167 miles. Oh, gosh, lock them up. Got about 167 miles, man. And uh, we'll be going to deliver this. We've got about 40,000 pounds, about 20 ton uh, of stone on some gravel. On the doubles. We got doubles on the back of this thing, by the way. Or right, do we have double? No, no, no. I'm sorry. No doubles, thank God. We have a regular uh, side dump. Regular side dump. There we go. Uh, oh, I want to take a trip to Idaho for real. Go see some potatoes. I hear you. I hear you. Look at that night sky, man. The sky is so nice. Such a nice guy. Especially Cordeline. I just love the way that name is. Cordeline. Cordeline, Cordeline, Cordeline. Hee hoo. Anyway, I'm going to go see myself out. Sam and Sons. Hey, Mr. CG Davis coming down the big road. We do appreciate that follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you a part of it. Hope you're doing well tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, hopefully on our next load, or hopefully even on this one, we get a little bit of daylight. We'll take a uh, thumbnail photo for it. Speed limit is still double nickel here. I have no idea how fast I'm going. Also, too, guys, next week's episode on YouTube will probably have the completed mod list. Um, I'll go through it in a video as well. But... Um, legitimately like right now hey idaho uh legitimately like right now there's gonna be basically nothing added uh big mod wise like trucks trailers none of that yet like i said to you guys earlier tonight i'd really like for you guys to be a part of this as much as we can so have you guys make all that decision hey snary coming down the big road appreciate the follow man how we doing glad to have you a part of the hammerhead community uh, so the core game without the mod is not realistic compared to real American trucking, correct? On the economy side of things, correct, yeah. Yeah, there's a... Uh, the, the mod basically kind of like cuts the rates down. It doesn't make it as easy to just level up, right? It's a little bit more difficult to level up. The base game is very easy to level up in. You do like two loads and you're like ready to rock and roll. Take a four hundred thousand dollar loan out the whole nine. Like right now, we can only take out five hundred bucks, and we won't get another like loan apparently until like level fifteen. Sixty-five is the speed. We can kick it up. I guess we can throw it in the big hole. Come on, there it is. Uh, I'm doing okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. Just finished watching the video. Glad I caught the stream. Appreciate you, to CJ. 
CG, I don't know why I said J. I read G, said J. Davis, listen, ban me. I totally get it. Appreciate you, brother. Welcome to the community. Could be a bit better. Aw, oh, man. Well, hopefully you get a little spa on the face here tonight, brother, man. Hopefully you can just lean back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Nice sunrise coming up over the sky over there. Look at that. Oh, man. 35 is the speed limit. We're going to back out of it a little bit. Pump the brakes down. Upper. Stay. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, Mike, you ever had Maine lobster? No. Mike does not like seafood. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. Mike is a big fisherman. Mike likes to fish. Mike fishes. Uh, Mike likes to go on charter boats. Mike caught a giant 89-inch sailfish last year. Mike likes fishing. Mike doesn't eat fish <laughs> or anything out of the ocean. Uh, grew up on the ocean, too, man. Literally grew up on the beach. Uh, but, yeah, man. It has been a uh, interesting side of my life there with that. There is a reason why, but it's a bit, uh, it's a bit much. Can you do a sudden break for me? I have a kind of kink of hearing the tire squeak. They didn't lock up. I tried. I tried. Bubba, I tried. They didn't lock up. The guy behind me, though, was probably like, what the heck? Uh, is there a secret? There's always a secret, brother. Bana, 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 bana. Is this your truck, Mike? No, 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 no. We are just renting these trucks, man. We're just hopping in them. Guys are looking for drivers. We're just hopping in them. We're not going to have a truck for... We're going to put... Uh, we're going to put almost 100,000 miles down in the profile before we even get our own truck, guys. That is that is the reality of it. Uh, my wife says we are brosifs at heart. That's right. I love seafood, but it's more of a snack because I'd be starving in the morning after eating the seafood. Oh, my Lord. That's right. <laughs> You're crazy, man. I can't eat seafood at all. Can't do it. Anything from the ocean, I can't eat it. Uh, Bubba, you didn't come in today. What happened? Uh-oh. Uh, seafood and mushrooms make me sick. Uh, I like going... I used to like mushrooms on pizza a lot. Uh, mac and cheese with the main lobster? Yeah, TN. D. Brown thought you were quick. I got you already in my brain. I know what you did there. Uh, yeah, so what, what the problem is, though, for me is, um, when I was young, when I was a youngin, when I was a youngin, uh, I went fishing with my grandfather, and, uh, we were up at the, always, always out of the ocean. I've never done, uh, fresh, always salt water. And, um, we, uh, were catching, uh, we were up there fishing, it was raining, and I caught a, uh, pretty solid big striped bass. And I was young, man, I was like six, seven, youngin five even maybe and um my grandma we brought it back to the house and then uh my grandfather decided that this was a good time at this age to go through the entire anatomy of this fish uh right in front of me uh we're like ripping stomachs open the whole nine going through it i'm just like oh this is cool man like we're like ripping it apart the whole nine uh, and then all of a sudden, he's like, all right, time to eat it. I'm like, yo, you got a better chance of seeing the Lord before I eat that. He said, I just watched you. No, dude. I'm like, I'm good right now, brother. I'm good, man. And it just always, for some reason, for fish, always, uh, always uh, screwed me up, man, with that. That was genuine that time. Uh, what's going on, Career Bass Pro? Good to see you. What does the truck look like? We got a Volvo right now. Can't show you. I don't have a cab. We're doing this is RP style, man. I don't have a GoPro outside the truck. I could show you it here, maybe. If we cough and sneeze and pretend that we had a uh, there she is there. We pretend to pause the game. I've been playing ATS a while, to be honest. 
Yeah, I've, got to, I've been playing it a little longer too. Keeping this all RP style. I got it. Uh, which Detroit motor do you want there, Career? Depends on what you want. Uh, we're going to lug this thing. Sun is coming up. A little foggy outside as we enter Mountain Home, it says. Honestly, no idea. I was going to try to find three to four different ones. Yeah, TN. It's like going to go green. My God, dude. Dude was like right on top of me. Can't wait for Z Mods Western Star to get released. You'll be waiting a while, Hammer. You'll be waiting a while. chance of Mike eating seafood. Spiral. That spiral. Spiral. I've been so close sometimes, Spiral, to smacking that band button on you sometimes. And man, I'm telling you right now, brother, with that comment, I slowly pulled it back because that was a comment and a half, brother, man. That was the comment of the week. That right there was the comment of the week, man. That that right, my God, man, dude, spiral. That was uh, that was solid, brother. That was solid. Uh, I had you on Facebook, but not sure if it's really you. Uh, I don't add some, anyone on Facebook, so don't feel bad about it. It's most likely me, though. I have a modded ATS account there. Uh, we don't use the outside camera views in the profile. Everything using the inside camera only, right? That's right. This is straight. Yeah, I'm driving. This is real life. I am in a, I'm in a Volvo in real life right now. Comedy is the best when it holds some truth. That's right. That's how I like it. That's right there, Rival. Look at that guy waving. That guy likes it over there, too. What's up there, dancing man? Gotta get over a lane. Uh, according to my logbook over here, we got 38 miles left. Raindrops are falling on my head. And raindrops are falling on me. It's raining. It's sunny. It's called the sun shower today. Uh, yeah, so we're staying in the truck the whole time. Doesn't Blade have a decent 4900? He might. Be honest with you, I, I couldn't tell you. I think he does. I wish we were driving the international right now to see if that holds truth that the uh, wipers really don't clean the uh, windshield. That would be very unfortunate. 
Uh, do you like logging trucks? That's my fave. Yeah, man, I do. Uh, and to be honest with you, too, like the uh, the Pisser Manic trailer, I was very happy when he updated that trailer. That thing is really cool. That's such a that was such an underrated trailer in that pack. Uh, I had I racing for seven years. I just recently got an ATS and I'm hooked. My shifter comes Friday. Thanks for the discount code. You got it, brother man. Appreciate you. Yeah, dude. AT I've been playing it now for eight years. Come February, and it's crazy. Uh, does the ATS shifters have interchangeable medallions? Uh, so in the truck, no. Because there's no shifters in any of the trucks, I don't believe. Yeah, no. But, like, a real shifter, yeah, you can change it out if you wanted to. Uh, maybe do a driving lock, bull bull one day. Oh, absolutely. We, we, so, the, what we're going to do is, um, we're going we're gonna to break it down. Um, we're going to have more of a schedule. So, I was saying earlier, um, I'm, I, oh my god almighty, you scared the living crap out of me. I know I heard you. Okay, thank you. Is there any snacks? Like like a waffle? But, but these things aren't planned. But but when they're surprises like that, that could be a good thing. I don't even need the chocolate chips. Though. I know. This could be just a straight up protein waffle. Appreciate it. And that's called reverse psychology and how you get a snack there, driver. Come on. Anyway, uh, Mike is heading to East Boise. That's right. Uh, the ATS. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, they're real shifters, right? You could, I mean, again, I don't know if he does it, but you could do it. Yeah. They're, they're basically real shifters, real Eatons. Uh, I love it. It's cool. Maybe do a drive. Oh, so yeah. So. The way we're going to do things here is very cool, the way I like it. I was talking actually to the boss lady. That was Mrs. Mata, by the way, that just came in the room there. She is real. She does exist. Um, the, 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 the modded ATS is going to be basically around three channels. Uh, we're going to have, of course, the main channel, which is going to be all of our gameplay channels, modded ATS. You guys already know where it's at. How you doing? Uh, we're going to have American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator. We're going to have games on there, right? Mostly American Truck Simulator, obviously. We're going to bring back most of the other games as well as time goes on. Uh, we're going to have the VOD channel, which is going to be a re-upload of the live stream so none of you guys miss a beat because Twitch will delete them after some time. And then we're also going to have the IRL channel, which I want to keep separate from the gaming channel. Um... This way we have order, right? I like I like things to be... You want something, you go exactly here, that's what you get. So they're all going to be related, um, you know, but they're all going to be so you know exactly what you're getting, where you're at. You want all your live streams. I missed a live stream from 10 weeks ago. Boom, baby, watch it, right? You can boom right there. I can send you right where you want it. There it is. Uh, New gameplay videos, mod reviews, everything ATS. You're checking out the main channel. You want to see some IRL trucking, some good old times, builds in real life, stuff like that. We're going to have that channel too. Um, in fact, I showed you guys earlier. I have my little headband here that I found for my point of view. So we're going to wear the old uh, <laughs> the old GoPro on the old helmet again. Uh, I got my batteries charging up. We'll probably do like a video there like once a week or something to kick it off uh, and see what's going on with it. The channel's almost done of my create. The channel's been created, but I'm going to, uh, you know, obviously add all my links there and such. But does Great America work with ATS expansion? It does, but you need to have the ATS expansion uh, add-on for Great America. Just picked up the sim panel shifter. You're very nice. Yeah, there, Tian. Uh, Mike, is the graphics mod pay where? Yes, sir. Project Next Gen is. Yep. Uh, Husted, you better uh, share that, buddy boy. You better share it. Husted, you better share it. And if it does not show you to share, leave the stream. Come back in. It'll be on the bottom of your jack. Come on. We want to. We want to give you that. Uh, we want to give you that praise. Come on. There we go. Jake, break her down a little bit. Oh uh, man, I gotta get over again. The bus is here. Slide on over. There we 
There it is. There it is. go. Jarrett. Coming down the big road. Do appreciate that sub, man. Two sub, two month resub, brother, man. Appreciate that. Welcome back to the Super Charter Club, guys. Get some sub lives in the chat, some W's for the man. Welcome back, Husted. Glad to have you back here. I swear you was going to say something about logging, then your wife scared you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have it. Um, so yeah, I was like, what is she doing, standing there next to me? Um, yeah. So we're gonna have owner operator live streams during the week or whatnot but we're gonna have the everything profile which is the build and drive profile we'll have the limestone profile so like all that is there so we'll definitely do one on the build and drive profile for sure like i said i i did build one actually on the limestone profile uh we did a live stream actually on a build and drive actually we actually did do a build and drive uh of one when uh pister modding mr pister himself redid the uh or not really redid, but did an update to the Manic logging trailer. Uh, we built a nasty 389. Uh, no matter how many channels you need, I will sub to them all. Ah, we don't need a lot. I just want you guys to have direction there, so it's just going to be the three. You know, one basically is the dump for the VOD, so you guys can see it all, and then IRL and game, and I just want to keep separate. Because the problem is, too, the YouTube's algorithm is funny, so you guys won't... I want you guys to be able to see things, right? My point is, is like, over the past year, I've done a lot of homework, right? Um, I've done a lot of homework. And I always notice one very common denominator. Everybody always, always, I'll usually always see the most common thing. I didn't get a notification. I didn't see this. I didn't grab this, you know? And that's sometimes because the, the algorithms get all funny. So if you're specifically waiting for like an IRL video, and it's popping up on a game you know what i mean i want you guys to be able to know exactly where it you know it's going to come from so you guys know where to go and it's less headache for you to see what you want to see there 14. Uh, am i too early uh no we've been live for almost three hours come here hold on in here i'm gonna find that building drive and watch it for sure yeah i don't know if that's still actually that's one of the things to their coffee that's why we have the vod channel uh because that was pre-vod channel and i think it's already off of twitch that face so that's another reason why we have that channel uh what's the third we have uh it's gonna be the irl channel the modded ats main gaming channel and the vod channel and then we'll be just trucking every night we're always gonna be trucking trailer trucking uh, pull the brake, shut her down, unhook, see where we're at with it now. And here we go. And let's go here. We can help you grow. The bank now raised our limit to a thousand doll hairs. My good uh can i get a link to the third you'll get a uh, when it's ready i'll send a link for it uh i got a clip of that stream i'm like almost putting that truck on its side oh my god daryl my lord my oh, jesus lord in heaven all right quick job let's see what we got here now oh god we're only getting one job per Everything's coming almost out of Eli, too. Everything's going to Ogden, Utah. I wonder what our... I guess our sleep keeps changing. Uh, can I get... A, oh, you who thousand, I can pay that towards my car payment now, basically, right? Ain't that the truth? All right, we got a Mac again? Yeah, we do. Boom. And hold on one sec. Huh. 
Now, let's hop on out. Check it on out. Oh, I love always coming underneath this thing. Look at that trans. Oh, we gotta look and see what um what transmissions in here is the big old DEF tank. I love how we crawl out underneath the truck. All right, now again we're gonna check this out. Oh, an anthem. I guess that's what we had before. We're gonna have the M drive in this thing. Check the wheels again. Look at that. Look at our reflection. Hello. Good go oh, we got a gold dog on her, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see if that's true gold dog is everything mac mac motor mac trans mac rears look at the tires over here check that check that got antenna on her very close fenders to tank very close back air ride very nice check the tires there nice old flatbed here so when we do the flatbed we're gonna walk around here now these suck okay uh you'll see here I'm going to hop on up here. Uh, these suck, these ventilation shafts, because most of them are like almost like a tin material, right? So if you don't put a piece of plywood there, you're basically crushing every time you tighten down. It is a pain in the big time. Um, but when you use the plywood there, it does help give you a little bit more of a uh, stronger uh, lockdown on it. Um, they're not going to really go anywhere, but it can become very scuffed. Am I running with fatigue on? I am, yep. Yes, fatigue is on, and uh, but we're, we can only do quick jobs. So fatigue is on, and then also the uh, drag of uh, traffic offenses. Make sure all the straps are good here on this side. This is not really going to be one of the most important sides. We're going to make sure it's locked here. Usually there's our little right there. You see that? Make sure those uh, little teeth there are locked on in. Going around the other side of her, we're going to make sure the tire's good. Ooh, we got a. Uh oh. See? Wait a minute. We need to call SES. This is a stock SES trailer. Can't take the load. Oh man, this is gonna be dangerous. It's gonna be interesting. This is gonna be very, very interesting on how that's gonna pan out. Not really sure how that works. That's why we do pre trips. I'm a little nervous about that. Oh my god. Uh, that's definitely a blowout. We're inside the tire. 100%. Tire, their lights are good back here. Oh, sweet heavens. All right, so this side, too. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Wait a second. Wait. Oh, come on, man. That ain't right. We got... Oh man, we gotta get the hooks on her. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ain't no hooks on this thing. It's the got the same ones on both sides. Oh man. Oh man. And one more for the small violin in the back. <sighs> Guys, we should run this trailer in the middle of the night. This trailer needs to be parked. That's why we do pre-trips, though. Oh, my sweet Jesus, Lord in heaven. Um, but, hey, listen. Um, I'll run her. Uh, a little nervous, too, but we'll run it. Uh, make sure everything's good here. Fifth wheel's all locked up. Go up here, make sure that's good to go. Thank God. Um... Hopefully somebody dropped a hundred dollar bill somewhere underneath that trailer for this ride. Anyway. Okay, let's find out what engine was in this thing now. Oh, M drive automatic, baby. Yeah. We're gonna take that as the auto for this one. Don't mind if I do. DOT is gonna shut me down. More than likely, yes. Uh, chat never double up on your witch bar because if you slip, it won't be pretty, as you All right, now start it. Four ways can come off. Adjust the seats. Move it on up. There we go. And we'll. Trolley it. And we'll continue on our day. Uh-oh. 
Guys. We have no GPS yet again. Oh my god. Oh, get the book out, guys. Get the book out. No GPS yet again. All right. No GPS again. Uh, 93 North. 80 East. 15 North. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. It's on. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's fine. He's a lord. 15 North. It's uh, salt. Lake City. And from 15... Oh, my God. All right, 15 North. Jesus. First... First right. Left. At... Assuming that's a light. Then a right. First, left. <laughs> Second, left. And we're going to a UOP. Wow! Uh, that's going to be an interesting ride. Uh, the Mike Diaries. Yes. Hello, John. Hello. All right, so 93 up to 80. And then in the Salt Lake. All right. Uh, raise hell, praise Dale. Come on back. Uh, AKA the Riverdale Avenue. Is that where I'm going? Hold on one sec. All righty. Now, put that there. That here. At least we got an automatic. Uh, the whole beehive. That's right. What's going on, Benji? Good to see you, man. How we doing? All right. We'll get lost anyway. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. All right. Four ways come on as we leave the Lanal. Hey, big fuzzy. Coming out of the big room. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, did I get the used truck dealer mic? Nope. Negative. It is between levels one and five. I'll just double check, but I'm 90% sure I don't have it. Oh, no, I don't. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. Uh, when I first started driving, one of my co-workers was trying to show up double loving on his winch bar, and a kid didn't nearly kill him. It was for the guy training. We would bleed out. Oh, my God. It's very morbid. What level are you now? Two. Oh, Nelly. Uh, two and a quarter. Yeah, not even probably, right? Oh yeah, dude. This is this is not this is not gonna be a one, two, three profile, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be uh, months. This is this is uh, this is not gonna be uh, yippee i o k a. This is gonna be like, oh my god, how did you not quit yet? Kind of profile. I feel like we've already made the wrong turn. Day. Um. No sign here. Uh, are all the truck customizations unlocked at the start? Or are they locked on normal? Normal. 
We're in for the long haul. You and me both, Big Hammer. You and me both, Big Hammer. Oh, man. Yeah, we're level. I'll show you real quick. Uh, so to show the career, here we are. We're literally right here. So we're level... I'm sorry, we're not even level two yet. We're level one still. We're still level one. Um, but yeah, no. All the upgrades get unlocked as uh, time goes on. So nothing's there. But... Got myself some... Uh, snack. This is Mata makes some great um, protein waffles. Fun fact. From scratch. If this isn't the 93 here, I'm going the wrong way. Something ain't right here. I feel like maybe I gotta go left. Hotel. Uh, we need if you were a company driver for one particular company. I, you know what? I thought about that. That'd be a really cool mod uh, for people to do. But uh, what we're going to do is you'll see when we get to that point, though, uh, we're going to make that ourselves. You'll see. Yo, I am going to pray to God that this is 93. If this is not 93, we are in trouble. I don't think this is 93. I think we went the wrong way. I have a very strong feeling that we went the wrong way. Hey, what up, Redneck Zombie? Ethan, coming down the big road. Do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Mike got lost again? That's right. Mike's not using a GPS, don't forget. Yeah, but we definitely made the wrong turn. This is not 93. Uh, we're going to have to pull up the map here at the red light. I don't believe... Yeah, this is definitely not 93. Oh my god. This is definitely not 93. Uh, nope. Uh, Alright, not too bad though. We'll go to the end of the road, bang a left, and then we can continue going straight. Alright, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. We're not, a complete, we're not completely lost. We're not completely lost. Good. Uh, worst case scenario is you run into an invisible wall. That's right. I've uh, been following the series on YouTube for a bit. Finally caught a stream. Hey man, appreciate you man. What shift knob are you rocking? It's a real Eaton Fuller. Hopefully this light goes green shortly. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I've been running half fast Gaming is 3XXX. Yeah, I actually, oh, man, Jeff makes some, I love Jeff, man. Jeff, Jeff's a real one, man. I like Jeff a lot. I've been watching Jeff literally since the beginning of uh, playing this game. I do like the 3XX a lot as well. Great Piedmont. What did I miss? Went and had some local eats. Oh, Jesus, booty. Whole bunch. Whole bunch. The boys are thirsty in Atlanta, and there's beer in Texas. Get on. We're gonna. I have no idea what the speed limit is. Oh, Lord in heaven. 87,000 miles on this truck, too. I knew I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I said I was going to get a quick job as long enough until I could buy a used truck. And at that point, would get my Mata Transport skin on. RP signing on with Mata Transport. That's cool, man. That's cool. Oh, locking them up. 
truck's very fragile. So this is going to be, I guess... I'm assuming this turns into 93 at some point. Oh! Oh my god. Where did you come from? Oh my god. Did you guys hear that? That was legit fright. That was legit fear. I was... I... That was... That was scared. I did not want to get into that. I... Yo. I might need to take a 10-100 real quick. That was... I was frightened. Uh... Someone's got to clip that one. I was... Uh... I was afraid of that. Almost didn't make it past day one. That's right, driver. Oh, my God almighty. Jesus, Lord in heaven. There's a lot of... And... <laughs> oh my gosh. That was wild, to say the least. My heart is still jumping a little bit. The struggle to level two. Oh my gosh, man. What a wild ride that is. This car is like, yeah, I'm just going to pass everybody right now. I don't know what the speed limit is. 45 around the bend? We'll take it. Maybe not really take it at 45, but we could, I mean, we could take it at 45 there, 14. Uh, reduce speed ahead, good deal. Jesus, Lord in heaven. That that literally scared the living hell out of me for a minute. That See, that's another thing, too. Like, that's another reason why, too, I get so involved with the no GPS. Like, I, I, like, even right now, like, I am zoned in. I am ready to go. Pulling at a way station, you're going to be over. That's right. That's right there, big sky. I uh, hope you wore those brown pants today. That's right. That's right. Uh, I definitely didn't. Uh, I definitely took a 10 100 for sure. IRL. <laughs> what? <laughs> you were back in Eli because I made the wrong turn. This right here is automatic life. By the way. Eating and driving and automatic is great. It's it is life. I'm gonna get in the left lane here. I plan to pass these cars. And there's beer in Texarkana. And Mike is gonna eat these wobbles now. They probably do. What the heck is that about? Oh, we're passing them. Ah, uh, we got a car this late. Oh! Green, baby, green, baby, green, go, go! Oh, come on, man. Oh, this guy's right next to me, too. Head. Get away from my trailer, dude. I drive in real life, too. Get away from me. Uh, can you not pull up map in the cab? Or are you role-playing? Uh, we are RPing this, man. Hey, what up, Derek? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the ham Ray community. there viking hammer man dude good to see you viking hammer hope all is good with you bro hope the holidays were good happy new year to you how the hell is your view moving your head following your head uh we are an ambassador of toby man exclamation point toby in the chat t-o-b-i-i -I. he's a head tracker glad to see you viking hammer 
Cold Flame coming down the big road. We do appreciate that follow as well. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here, buddy. Oh my god, we almost hit this guy. Oh, sweet lord. Sweet lord. The max are going to be the problems for us. By the way, guys, we're getting $200 for this loot. Uh, how's the holiday? Oh, hope you're out. Oh, how was your holiday as well? Holidays were good, man. Holidays were good, man. Got to take down the Christmas lights, though, still. We'll be doing that uh, hopefully one day this week here before the... We've had a lot of high winds, but I'll probably end up doing it uh, probably on the weekend. The amount of times my dad has grabbed me his map while he's doing 70 on the highway and asked me, do you see this highway? I'm like, no, that's right. Uh, we're going to get stuck behind the mixer. Oh, really, my guy? Really? Oh, man. Just like uh, that lady from uh, Smoking the Bandit. Ma'am, you're supposed to have him come this way. Really? This is the witch of the knoll. Uh, it's badass. He's her. Uh, yep. Got it like three years ago. I used to have a track IR. Got it about three years ago. This past year, we just became ambassadors with Toby. So we got a little discount code for you. But uh, yeah, it's a good time, man. I love it. I don't have to wear a hat. I'm just wearing one right now because I need a haircut. Probably going to get one tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, my God. Need a haircut for sure. All right, so 93. What are we going? 80? Oh, stay in the road, Mike. Let's open up the novel, shall we? Oh! Oh my god. Yo, we almost ate the guardrail. Uh, 93 north, 80 east. Alright, so 80 east and Assault Lake, we're gonna hit 15 north. Alright, cool. I'll see you. Bye, bye, bye. Headed I 80. Appreciate you, Brett. See, Brett, now that's why I need you, Brett. I need you! I've been saying, really, my guy? Oh, yeah. It's always my guy. My guy. Really, my guy? That's funny. Uh, man, that is funny. Oh, uh, no. No. What is up here? Oh, come on. I wish this light would go green. Put the four ways on. Sometimes we'll do this in real life, too. Put the four ways on to let people know behind you. You know, there's an unexpected, uh, you know, situation here. So this is obviously not a natural traffic light here. Uh, by natural, meaning it's not like an intersection. It's just doing some road work. Let's people know behind you that there's something going on. Come on there, big hammer. Take the phone. Chilling. Chilling. Chilling, chilling. Chilling, chilling. Oh my lord. Chillin'. Uh, occasionally you have that one guy that will still try to pass you when you turn on the four ways. Oh, I know. Quite like convoying with some of the guys I work with. What's your favorite semi truck without mods? Kenworth W900L. I'm a Kenworth fan all day. Hey, busy and broke. Hey, 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 Mr. GDC. What up, brother? Good to see you. How you doing, my man? Welcome officially to the Hammerhead community. How you doing? How we doing? Ladies and gentlemen of the Hammerhead community, the gentleman that has just followed the stream is going to be the reason why we are going to lose countless hours of sleep, be completely frustrated, that is the gentleman created of, or created this map mod here, or not map mod, I should say the economy mod here. Mr. Busy and Broke, how we doing? Good to see you. Glad to have you a part of it. Uh, we had a question for you and I forgot to ask, man. Oh, I don't want to put you, listen, you know, want you to be able to enjoy the stream. I don't want to have to, to ask you a question to make you feel like you got to work, you know what I mean? But if you want to answer a question, I do have one for you that was risen or has a rose. Uh, I'm trying to currently download the mod. It, this So this is on the Steam Workshop originally. The, the normal mod, I should say, is on the Steam Workshop. This variant that we're running is through the Discord <laughs> under the uh, ATS beta. Mine is also... Oh, mine's the T680? Very cool, man. You like the next gen, or do you like the uh, the OG one? 
Uh, I have the original, trying to get this version. Uh, just made it back home, 2,400 miles for the week. That's right, what's up? Uh, so, a couple questions arose, and I meant to, you know, a good question to ask is, uh, if people use modded trailers, uh, how does that work? Will that justify the pay scale at all, or is there something that's, is that gonna like ruin what's going on with that, or how does the, the modded trailers work for the economy profile? Uh, Michael playing a new profile along with you, the mod, and the mod busy is a good one, that's right. Uh, good to make it home though, man. Solid in the middle of the week. Gotta watch our speed here, 60 mile an hour around the bend. 60 mile an hour, oh, Nelly, close your eyes, close your eyes and it just disappears, just like that, right? Close your eyes, sometimes in real life too when you're driving, you just gotta close the old eyes, you know what I mean? Close your eyes, there's a guy trying to pass me but I'm not gonna let him, we're just gonna let it ride on out. Uh, where's 80? Look at this guy, he's still trying, he's still trying, shame, he's not gonna make it, real, real shame. <laughs> Uh, closer. Wow, that dude came right out. Modded trailers are compatible, but some have their own cargo rate data, and this can result in higher or lower pay rates when using the economy mod. They should always be placed below the economy for this reason. So there you go, guys. In case anyone is here in the chat curious about using some modded trailers, number one, it could vary a little bit more depending on the rate of its own cargo, but always, so it was always put it underneath uh, the mod itself. So. When you guys uh, let me know down there in the comment section when you guys are making those seventy thousand million dollars, you know what I mean. Uh, so put this mod high in the priority list. Yeah. So actually, Dark Mike too. When I had it on my old one, uh, I had it at the very top. Uh, I had it at the top. So, and that's where it is right now, currently on mine. But like I said, right now we're only running about five mods. So. Uh, is that the GDC creator? Busy is. Yeah, Busy is the uh, the man that made it. Yes, sir. Uh, this looks more like Utah quality. Uh, we are headed out there to Ogden. Does own trailers make more? Uh, like you just said, though, it all depends, man. Some can make you more. Some can make you less. Oh, 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 that's another thing, too. Hold on. That's right, Busy. Busy, I'm sorry, too. That's a good question. I'm sorry. Maybe that's more, more the question. If we have stock trailers, let's pretend everything's stock. If we own our own trailer, do we get any more out of it? Steph, welcome to the Hamrack community. Appreciate the follow. Hope you're doing well tonight. That's that's more or less to the proper question. So if we own a trailer, so if I keep this 1,000% vanilla, I have all original stock game, and I go and buy a trailer, will I get any more money from that? Uh, is there any benefit of actually buying a trailer? I guess is particularly the question. Staff, we do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you. Oh, man, we are all over the road right now. Uh, there's the beta version on the Discord. Yes. There's a Wilson cattle trailer on the workshop, and it has its own rates tied to it. it pays very well, even on real economy. Tian. Road right behind Steph. We appreciate the follow, guys. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you guys here. There's a manual for GDC. Yes, sir. The mod can get very, very involved. Like I said to you guys, next week when we do the uh, regular update video there on the YouTube channel, on the main channel. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll give you guys a rundown of uh, what we got rocking and rolling with it. Uh, what's the Discord channel? Best way to grab it right now, Big Sky, is if you go over to my YouTube. I'll make, a, I'll make a command here for it. But if you go over to my YouTube channel, we just released the video today on it. There's a link in the description for it. Sometime next week, I'll be taking my CDL test. There you go, Kakar Kakarot. Yo, brother man, how you been, OG Kakarot? Hopefully Christmas and the holidays were good, man. Hopefully New Year's was good. How you been? 
Good to see you again, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, we'll make a. Uh, we're, we're gonna. Well, I'll make a command for it though. Uh, freight market jobs and cargo market jobs and pay rates adjust to real world conditions. One or the other may pay higher or less than the other. Uh, refer to the owner operator guide for the economy. There you go, guys. So yeah, the guide will help you out there. We'll check it out too. And we'll go over it too in the video next week. Uh, what state am I in and where are you headed? I am in, wow, I love the name, crazy. What up, man? Uh, we are in, well, we started in Nevada and we're going to Ogden. What's that, Utah? Or no, what's Ogden? What is Ogden? Salt Lake City, Utah, Utah. We're going to Utah uh, and we got ventilation shaft on. And guys, I have not been paying attention. Oh my gosh, we gotta get to 80 here. Right now we're no GPS in it because there's no GPS in the truck. So I gotta get to uh, 80. Oh, sweet Jesus, Lord in heaven. This is 80. How can you stand the flat nose trucks? I can't stand it. Uh, I just like trucks. I don't own it, right? I don't have to pay the bill on it. I just drive her, come on. Wow, Camaro said, I'm gonna try. This has gotta be 80. Uh, let's see here. Uh, got my car today, next thing will be with the H7. There you go, CJ Love. Uh, been good, been going on, been missing the streams. Hey, listen, dude, I want you to stay busy, stay healthy, stay good, that's all that matters, man. Good for you. Best of luck, though, on the test and everything else, brother. Uh, I have a hard time to know where I'm on the road. I use the nose to guide because I don't use the wheel. Yeah, TN. Uh, Mike, would you need a warehouse full of trucks if you love them ATS? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, oh, please. You know, they always say, right, well, what does a trucker do when he wins the lottery? He goes out and buys another truck. Come on. That's right, that's right. Go buy yourself a pita kill. Like, I have my own preferences. Like, you know, I like to, like... Like when I owned my own, I owned a Kenworth. I owned a 379 Peterbilt. Like I owned trucks I liked. Um, but if someone says, hey man, can you mind driving my truck to help me out? I'm not gonna be like, no, nah, sorry man. You're driving a Columbia, not really my style. No, I'm not a, I'm not a jack wagon. Who am I? You know what I mean? I, I'm not that guy to puff out my chest. I could really care less, um, but when push comes to shove, you know, I'll get what I like to get, but I just like driving in general. Like right now, uh, for work, I drive a Western Star 49, uh, 40, what do I drive? 49? 49X? Yeah. I drive the new Western Star, brand new, 2023. And I thanks Tim for reminding me what I drive, 49X. And um, mine is the sloped version of the hood. It's not a power hood, but I'm not gonna go to my boss and be like, hey man. Why'd you, why'd you spec the truck out that way? I know you bought the truck six months before I started here, but you should have known. Nah, man, I don't care. <laughs> I just drive it. And that truck's automatic right now. And people will be like, you know, oh, man, you drive it automatic? Well, I also drive a twin stick, so... I think I could, I, I think I could handle the automatic for a little bit there. Get out. I don't, I don't get all on that page, man. I just enjoy the ride. How many trucks do you need? One for every day of the week, driver. Come on now. Uh, that's my nap. I guess we are going the right way. Green light. Looking at my uh, way sticker up there. Driving the Big Mac. That's right there, Octane Junkie. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Uh, keeping my card sealed until I get the H7. Ten fold. Uh, yuppers. That's right. I should really start. I mean, these mirrors have been pretty good, but I really should be adjusting the mirrors. Uh, would the power hood make much of a difference in your line of work? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> uh, so, listen, I mean, like, a lot of companies, too, they order trucks to um, uh, be smart with what they cost, right? So, like, my truck, 
has the X12, which is the smaller of the motors, and it doesn't really need the big hood. You get a power hood, if you don't put a big old Detroit 600 in there, you better just, you know, I don't know what you need to do. But, you know, uh, no, I mean, it doesn't matter. My line of work, I mean, I, you, I mean, there's guys that you'd run asphalt 379 extended hoods, you know what I mean, getting in and out tight parking lots and all that, so it doesn't really matter. Any advice on the pre-trip part of the test? Listen, if you're are you you're taking the physical test ne uh, next week there, Kangaroo? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, my question was more cost benefit. Yeah, so I mean, not I mean, uh, they're still gonna probably benefit the same way. It really depends, I guess, like what application you're doing. I mean, like if you really need a big motor, uh, we're very local where we don't really need the big motor, so. You know, I'm only driving, you know, really kind of farting around town with her. It's not like I'm pulling the hollers and hills of West Virginia or something. All right, listen. Listen. Here's my God's honest truth about the road test, okay? Number one. Have patience. Have patience. You're driving the truck. You're pre-tripping it. You do what you need to do. Patience. Take your time. Go over everything with that, right? It's patience. Number two, though, I want you to be mindful of this. Of course, I wish you the best of luck. Be mindful. And let's just say, unfortunately, it does not go your way. Do not let that knock you down. Unfortunately, every single instructor is different. You're never going to get the same instructor twice. You're never, it's never going to happen. So, be mindful of that, though. God forbid, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't, I don't put that on you. But it is something to keep at the back of the mind because I know how that feels because I failed my first time. You know, I failed my first time. And I failed my, and, and when I failed, I lost, I lost my, I lost my shiz, okay? And the reason I failed was for an alley dock. Now, he failed me because I pulled up one extra time. However, I owned the truck, it was in my name. I owned the trailer, it was in my name. And I was the company owner already and I basically was freaking out and saying to him too like what am I gonna am I gonna go to a Walmart and get denied I, I'm running a dump trailer you know what I mean like the guy was a jack wagon and then I had a lady and now this guy too he wanted me to check everything I had to check every single lug nut on that truck every single one he wanted me to look at make sure there was no rust every single one the next time I went when I went and passed Real simple. The lady says, well, "What are you? You're supposed to tell them what you're doing. That's another thing too, buddy. Tell them what you're doing. It sounds stupid. Trust me. Tell them what you're doing. Oh, I'm looking at my I'm I'm looking at my lug nuts because I like to make sure to see if they're not loose or not. I could usually tell by the sign of rust. Beautiful answer, right? That's what you need. You got to talk. Almost talk stupid to them. That's what they want you to do." They want to know what you're doing and why. I'm pumping my brakes down. I try to get it around the 60 pounds, whatever the number. You got to make sure you know the numbers for the air brakes. That is a specific. They want to know the numbers on which the brakes come on and all that jazz. That is for sure. But, um, you know, patience is number one, though, for sure. If your instructor asks you, are you sure... He's letting you know you missed a part or gave the wrong answer during the inspection. Yes, that's another good way to do. Build my alley dock too, by the way. Oh, dude, that dude, busy. Brother, I I flipped. I flipped shit. Um, I'm a third generation man. My dad and my uncle do it. And that's, that's the school I went to, basically. I didn't go to a school. I learned through them. And boy, oh boy. They told me, he told me, I, oh man, I, I was telling him the whole night too, like, oh man, do you have a CDL? You don't have a CDL? 
attack. No. Wait, what? Oh, you can't. I'll explain that in a minute. Kind of, I'll explain that in a minute. <laughs> I'll explain that in a minute. $25, I'll explain that in a minute. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I just broke her hard there. Um, but I was so agitated on why he did that. You know, and he didn't even have a CDL. I was freaking out. I'm like, I own this truck. I own this trailer. Am I going to fire myself? Blah, 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 blah. It was bad, man. IRL, those mountains are way taller. TN. Uh, even though I just ran 2,400 miles IRL, a mission to play. There you go. Hey, man. That's how it is, man. I still drive every day and I still want to go. I'm extremely lucky I passed my first time. Though I can do the air brake or pre trip test again. A lot of info to take in. I got mine in two days. Yeah, TN. Uh, what's the difference between the beta and the latest version on the workshop? This is very much more, it's, it's a lot more difficult um, to, uh, to uh, level up. There's an actual uh, log on his, uh, there's a log here on, uh, wait a second. So anyway, there's a uh, almost like a log or on it that tells you some of the stuff that's different. I'll have to read it for you just in a second, but it's in the Discord. And I'm screwing up right now. Oh, 15. Riverdale Road, first exit. I'm not even paying attention. I'm kind of losing it right now. Um, but like I said to you, to you guys, like. Uh, it's expected to have almost, according to according to it, it's expected to have almost 100,000 miles uh, before we even consider buying a truck. So just to give that a good old mindset. Uh, do I have to extract the beta file into the game folder? No, just drag it right in. How's the new owner-operator tonight? Good. Uh, apparently you should be, I don't know what, I just gotta, I gotta, we gotta, I gotta figure out what you did. This is modded. Uh, try it again. I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta. I gotta. That's my bad on that. Uh, yeah, leave it as the zip. Yep. Oh, I don't need my clutch. Duh, automatic, baby. Oh, dude, automatic. <laughs> Whoops. All right, now, what did I say I had to do? Crap. Crap. First, right, left at light, right at this one. Uh, try it now, because I think I think we both just messed it up. All right. First, right. Yes, you. First right, left at light. Second left. This ain't right. This is right? That road's gotta bend, it does. Don't need to verify. What did you do? Uh, see if you can send it. Got to check out the home tech support via live stream chat. Well, here's the deal. Uh, Netflix is trying. So she's trying to watch Netflix. Okay, and you know, I I, I did the whole Netflix thing years ago where. I, I put out money for having the unlimited access for everybody. And then all of a sudden, then uh, Netflix decided that they were going to, uh, you know, up in arms and, you know, lock it out. So, like, I got, like, four or five people on one Netflix account. I've had it there for, like, ten years. Then I realized, like, a couple of weeks ago, like, the bill is almost, like, 30-something dollars. 
And I'm like, no way. Acid coming down the big road. Appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammer Rick community. Glad to have you here. It's like 30 some odd dollars. So I was like in the middle of like locking it out and like changing the settings around and everything else. And, and it's it's really my fault because I didn't say nothing to her about it. But uh, she just walked in saying like, hey, I can't get on the Netflix. And I was like, uh oh, my bad. I forgot because I was in the process of doing with that. And then now I look at the phone. It's like, did you just try to log in? I was like, oh, boy. That's why I said we'll figure it out here after the stream. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to make a left there. That guy's doing a local delivery, maybe. Uh, Netflix has gotten crazy for the cost. Dude, it's just, I looked at the bill and I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, no, I did it like two weeks ago. <laughs> that was my problem. But Netflix keeps changing by the day. That's the difference. Uh, I literally did it like two weeks ago, but the problem is the stuff is changing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's just whenever Netflix decided to do it. But see how, like, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Hey, Ryan, I-76, coming down the big road. We do appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you here. That is a thousand percent UOP over there, isn't it? That's where we need to go is the UOP. Uh, Ryan, man, appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Glad to have you a part of it. Uh, uh, thanks everyone for the device for the company I'm going through. I get practice with the truck two hours before. Oh, there you go, man. You'll be all right. Best of luck, brother. Let us know how you make out for sure, for sure. How do I get in here? Oh, this ain't right. Is this UOP? Finally, I guess I could look at my map here. Oh. Turn around? Make my next right. How do I get in there? That's so scuffed. You passed it. Yes, I did. How, what's the entrance look like? This doesn't even look like a road. Oh, my GPS said. That's right. I'm sure you hear that way more than I do. I guess this is the entrance here. This must be it. I've never done a UOP, I don't think. Uh, YouTube Prime and HBO over me got rid of the old Netflix. Yeah, TM. UOP. I'm constantly missing terms of the GPS, and I can't talk crap. In real life, I'm good without it. You tell me, like, where to go, I'll be like, yo, Mike, go up here, make a left, make a right, do this, do that. You know, but you, I mean, listen. Uh, by the way, guys, if you don't know, too, Mr. Busy is an owner-operator IRL as a truck driver but uh you know it too my man like we'll be driving and someone says like yeah man go make a left at the mcdonald's go up there hit to the second tree make a right if you went here you went too far like we, we can figure that out pretty good but uh all this other jazz can get pretty uh pretty interesting what is your clutch axis dead zone uh this is automatic this truck but um Mine is up a little bit. I have it up like a little hair. I 
I don't think my spot is back here. I was going to say, I've never delivered back here. I've only picked up in the back. It must be in the front somewhere. Imagine, like, this is not my location. Like, where do they want this ventilation shaft? Someone come out here! Ah, oh, Lord in heaven. Oh! Oh, crap! Oh, my God. We're automatic, baby. I forgot about that. We're automatic. I've got the automatic. Oh, Lord in heaven. Turn the high beams off. I'm really looking like that guy. Now I'm pissed. Now I'm just driving around the plant like a madman. Like, brah. I mean, I should get out and just walk around. Oh, right here in front of me. There it is. All right, cool deal. We found her. We found her, guys. It's okay. It's okay. We found it. It's okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right, we found her. That's right. That's why I do it just by finding the load spot. That's right, we found it. Out here doing the loop de loop. Doing the loop of shame. But well, don't forget too, this entire load here was scuffed because we have a um, a tire stra or a strap down um, buckle in a tire basically. So it's probably not the most friendly of uh, trailers to pull here. Uh, giving us the factory tour. That's right, Tim. Tim, I really do hope you appreciate that tour. That was uh, all for you, buddy boy. This boss should make lines a lot bigger at least. Uh, I mean, they're all right. I just got to pay attention. I, I see. Problem is, I don't know all the places of where. So, because there can only be so many places. But I just didn't know there was one right here. Usually, it's underneath this shaft here. Um, sometimes it's in that back corner there. But scuffed. Plus the truck that almost T-boned you. Well, yeah. I mean. I mean, I kind of pulled out on him a little bit, right? Oh, wow, why is my mirror? Oh, I do not like the Mac mirrors. I'll tell you that right now. I don't. Why do I remember something being funny with the Mac mirrors? We'll take green though. Get me out of it. Get me out of it. Uh, man, it was wonderful, entertaining, even. That's right. That's right. Uh. Ah, the struggle to level two. <laughs> Hundred ninety-five dollars, man. Oh my lord in heaven! The struggle to level two. Uh, all right, look at that. Hey, hey, we at least we have two now. I thought we were gonna be broken for a minute. Uh, three fifty-eight, three fifty-seven. Wow, look at the difference in price. But look at that, guys. We're gonna. That's right. That's right. We're gonna get back in the old big truck there. Come on. Look at that, Kenworth. There it is. Back in the old red. And it's not a T6 there, driver. Back in the Kenworth. Wow. Jesus. Well, we are going to save that, though, for next week, though. Because uh, this big hammer's got to go to bed and get up in a couple of hours. That's why we went we went live a little earlier today. Uh, so we could get a head, a head start on that, uh, on that profile there. Uh, I want to give Mr. Busy and Broke. There you are. There you are. There you go, brother man. Give a little bit of VIP status. Um, 
Get good scrub. That's right. Uh, thanks for the stream. All right, crazy eight, crazy. We'll catch you, brother. Uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for us tonight. Like I said, um, I'm gonna upload this to the VOD channel. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are looking forward to this profile. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, basically seeing where this profile takes us. So next week on Tuesday, or I guess we gotta. Uh, figure it out maybe by the weekend uh what day uh i'd like to um i'll figure it out what day that i like to uh do the uh do the episodes on uh then what i'll do is uh, i'll obviously let you guys know um and then next week what i'll do is we'll have the goals which is what we're going to be trying to achieve here on the um what we're going to try to achieve there on the profile. So like our money goals or our, our goals in general, um, things of the nature, uh, mods that I'm going to be running. So right now I'm literally only running like four or five. Uh, we'll see what we do with that. But, uh, how do I get that status? What status is that there? Booty. Um, Oh, VIP the mod, man. E9 to G. You get it over time, man. You never know, man. Got a name like that though. Mr. Booty. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, how many loads have you made on the new profile? How do we see that real quick? We see that here. Uh, loads six, six have been done already. So we've done six. Uh, we've only done, we've only done a thousand miles, man. We have 99,000 to go. Oh my sweet Jesus! Here's the other thing, cool too, guys. Look, real time spent playing is three hours, so we're gonna see. That's the other thing too, to cool. See, uh, how many hours we actually end up playing it. Most truck use Mac Anthem band. My God, never again. That that is never gonna be the one again. Uh, basic stuff for the profile is gonna be obviously this stuff. All you know, the dealers, the recruitment agencies, the viewpoints. I'm gonna go through all that here on this profile. Uh, obviously, keeping the penalties down as low as possible. Uh, everything obviously here. Look at this. This is, this is right here. Take a photo, Hammers. Take a photo because this right here is what a perfected profile looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, we do appreciate everybody. We appreciate the follows, the new subs, and the resubs. Big shout out, Mr. Busy and Broke. Appreciate you making this kind of mod, man. It is definitely one to write home about, man. It's pretty cool. I uh, can't wait to see where it takes us. It took us 27 episodes last time on the YouTube side. Almost close to 100,000 miles before we decided to lose the profile. Hey, Dark, coming down the big road. We do appreciate it. Appreciate that follow, man. Welcome to the Hammerhead community. Guys, we are on the big road to 5,000 followers here on the Twitch side. Uh, we'll be doing a 24-hour live stream when we do hit that. And, guys, looking right now, we are looking at... Ooh, that's right. We are just shy of 14,000 subscribers on the YouTube side. Cannot thank you guys enough. We do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Tomorrow night, we'll be back live again. We got to still get that 100,000 miles on Limestone. Sitting at almost 92,000. We'll be banging that out, hopefully, before the end of the weekend. Got the GoPro ready for some IRL trucking, guys. So we'll get you guys involved with that when we do do that. Wild as well coming down the big road. We do appreciate you too. Hammers, hope you guys have a good rest of your night. As always, we'll catch you guys on the flip. And always, always, always keep the hammer down. Alrighty, guys. I hope you guys have a good night. Xerma Booty, have a good night. B9 Bot, just call me Daryl. Have a good night. Mars, have a great night as well. Crixus, of course, have a good night. Tim, the Iowa 
Tim the Iowan. We'll see you back in Iowa tomorrow, Big Hammer. B9, have a good night again. Jacob, Brett, have a great night. Dark Mike, Jelly Roll, have a good night as well. Tristan, hope you have a good night. Deshaun, my man, have a good night. Have a good night, Brett. CF Trucker John, hope you have a good night. Yogi, appreciate you hanging out tonight. Have a great night, too. All you guys out there, busy and broke again. Appreciate you, man. Hope you have a good night. Vandals, have a good night. We'll keep her. Have a good night and gear between the ditches. We'll keep her between the mayo and the mustard there. Come on. Guys, we do appreciate all y'all. Jameson, all the hammers out there in the community. You guys are an absolute savage community. The best community ever. We do appreciate.